If you guys don't like and subscribe in the next one second, you'll see this page again on Roblox. Don't risk it. Okay. Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today we are here inside of Find the Markers. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys all 190 marker locations in this video today. This is going to be an awesome video that you all are not going to want to miss out on if I start anything off over here and show you guys all these locations. I first need to go and tell you a little bit about rblxcodes.com, which is my own Roblox code website where you can find out game codes, music codes, and cards. There's tons of stuff in there that you guys have to check out. Overall, we have codes for over 300 roblox games so if you guys need a code for a game it will be there and if you guys are guests let's just go ahead and go on into this video now so for the first marker you are gonna want to go ahead and join the game so you can get this screen on right now and then scroll along click on this marker over here guys once you've clicked on the marker you you are gonna go ahead and get the technical marker i've actually already claimed up that one over there because well so that boy will not show up but yeah guys that's how you can go ahead and get that one moving on for the next marker follow me right now i'll be showing you exactly how you can get this one so for the next one it's just up here and um, just jump on that guys and then you'll be able to go in and claim it up for the next one we are going to want to go ahead and go to this tree right now teleport to the tree and then in here guys you can get that marker that's used to teleport back out of here and there is actually another marker somewhere in here um whereabouts is this one it is um well let's try it. yeah here it is guys just over here just jump on that one over there you guys are gonna go ahead and get that one and then we have another marker over here guys it's like the camel marker and it is just behind this tree right now claim up that one right now there we go guys we have them and um, their marker them markers over here keep in mind guys um even though i'm just showing you guys how to get this amount of markers into this video i'll always keep you up to date whenever new markers do come out for you guys to find okay anyway next go into this um this like room over here and then for the next one guys just jump on here um right wait one minute why can we not get there we go jump on here to go to go ahead and get the yellow marker then go up here right now guys and then just in this um in this box over here Right, wait one minute, let me quickly turn on shift lock, that's going to make things a lot easier. But yeah guys, in this box, go inside of it, and then you can go ahead and get the, I think this one's called the played market guys, but get the one over there. Anyway, moving on, now we have them ones, what we can then do is go um, over to this end, and then, um, pretty much, there should be some ladders over here guys, climb up these ladders right now. Now you are up here, you guys can then go ahead and get the grey marker, just up there guys, nice and easy. Okay, let's teleport back to spawn right now, and I'll show you guys how to get even more markers. So, once you have teleported back to spawn, I'll show you guys how to get these next few ones. So, what you are going to want to go ahead and do to get these ones is go to, like, this, um, this outside pool area and then we have one just in here claim up that one right now you also have another one located inside of one of the corals um i think it's actually this one yeah just over here guys you can get the coral marker claim up that one over there now you have that one um i'll show you guys what to do to get another one it should be um wait whereabouts is this one guys i think wait no yeah never mind it's just over here Right, you guys can see underneath here there is a marker right now claim up that one right now it's just floating randomly across the um <laughs> across the pool that's a pretty cool one it was this i've never saw this red button before hmm, i'm not too sure but anyway guys okay so now we have that one follow me for the next one guys i'm going to show you what exactly you need to go ahead and do to get this next one so follow me over here what we need to do is go um behind here right now claim up this one right now the capless marker and now you have got that one follow me for another one so we are then gonna want to go ahead and go to here and then just in here guys you can get this marker another easy one to go in and get guys claim up that one right now but this one's like the marker for the black base plate i think that's what that one is called um anyway moving on now with that we have that one um we are gonna go ahead and get the jump scare marker so to get this marker you guys are gonna want to go ahead and follow me right now let's do this bit of parkour over here hopefully this shouldn't be that yeah great guys honestly i can already tell this is probably gonna take me a little while right okay let's try this again let's jump up here onto here oh wow right onto there onto there onto here up there we go oh great right okay guys one minute let's try this again okay so let's go ahead and go up here honestly i think it may be a bit easier if i just turn off sprint i think that's gonna make things 
lot better. Wow. Right. Okay. And there we go. And then we need to jump onto there, onto here, up and onto there, and then onto there we go. Onto this one, and then over to here. Okay, guys. So now you are here. Go up here. Then, guys, you're going to be hung upside down. Once you guys jump off, the marker will actually pop up in your face. Um, but, no, never mind. It's just over here, guys. Yeah, it's just behind there. Go ahead and get that one right now. That's how you guys can get the jump scare marker. Okay, guys, but while we are here, um, we are going to want to go ahead and get the... Oh, no. Right, we're, we're going to want to go ahead and get the upbeat marker. Oh, oh no, never mind. Okay, that's that's decent. We don't, we don't completely fall down. But, um, yeah, let's do this right now. Let's jump up here, up here up here and then onto there and there you go guys that's how you can go ahead and get the obby marker well to be fair once you have the jump scare marker it's not that hard to go and get that one anyway once we have got that one right now follow me jump down there there we go and then um let, let's run again then the snow marker is just over here guys claim up that one right now okay anyway now you have that one we can get the snowman marker by walking over here another easy one to go ahead and get okay guys so now we have the snowman marker Follow me for another one. So, once you guys have got that one, for the next one, the oil marker, you... Wait, actually, the oil marker is over at the, the factory, I think, guys. So, yeah, let's go ahead and go there right now. Let's go to the factory. And then, for the oil marker, you guys are going to want to go ahead and go in here. Go in here. Jump down here. It would be nice if we could actually jump down there. There we go, guys. Jump down there. Go to the rocket. Now you guys are at the rocket. Just go up here. Jump up. Climb up them ladders. And just in here, guys, you'll find the oil marker. Claim up that one right now. Okay, guys. Next, you're going to want to go ahead and type in chat slash E laugh. Now you've done that, guys. You're going to be able to get the cat zoom marker just over there, guys. Claim up that one right now, um, which is quite nice. Wait, can we teleport back? Um, I don't think we can okay let's just go back to spawn over here and i'll show you guys how to get another marker right now so for the next one guys the b market it's just over here guys you may be able to see it i quite like that marker it's a pretty cool one anyway now we have the b marker follow me guys for another one so for this next one you guys are gonna want to go ahead and follow me right now so for this one it is the carpet marker it is just in here right, let's try Let's try this again. Just in here, guys. Claim up that one right now. It's just on the carpet. Then we have the fishbowl one over there, guys. Claim up that one. Now you have them. Stand near them. This and type in three to wild card. Type that in, guys. Then that's going to go ahead and allow this to show up. Now we've done that. You guys can just jump on there. And that's how you guys can get the wild market, which is nice and simple. Okay, anyway, now we have that one. You guys are actually going to want to go ahead and jump on to go to the chimney. And then you can get this um, marker over here, guys, the fire marker. Now you have the fire marker. Just um, actually, right, for this one, you guys need to go ahead and go left into there. And then you guys can get the phoenix market if you then jump on these bits right now there we go this one's not that hard there we go guys get the phoenix marker over there nice and simple okay now we have that one let's teleport back to swarm right now and i'll show you guys how to get this next one okay for this next one guys you need to go ahead and go to um right for, for this one you can either like jump you can just jump on top of there and then wait is it gonna let us right okay for this we can just jump up and around like that and then eventually we will actually find our way, find ourselves jumping up here. Let's try this. Maybe don't, don't um sprint. There, there we go, guys. Now we've jumped up here. You guys can then do this bit of parkour over here. And now you've done that, you'll then be teleported to the clouds. So for the cloud one, guys, you can just walk all the way over here. Um, and then. So claim up that one right now. There we go, guys. That's the cloud marker for you for the next one go to where this is walk straight forwards and then you guys can actually see this over here so for this one you guys are gonna want to go ahead wow oh, don't do that <laughs> do not do that how have i managed to do that guys i don't know i never mess up that one but right you know what? while we are here i might as well show you guys how to get another marker so let's run over to here right now and let's try this again okay but yeah while we are here you guys can go behind the chimney and get the brick marker over there that one's another easy one to get you know what? actually that's probably an easier way to get on the chimney which is i'm actually quite, quite glad i i realized that because then we don't need to do that weird jump and stuff okay let's try this again this time 
right so we are gonna want to go ahead and go over here and then go around and then let's go down here and now you guys are here right okay i'm gonna turn off my sprint right now because honestly i don't really want to mess this up at all right okay we are here now and then all we need to do for this bit is just jump right pretty much guys if you just jump around there shift lock around there then you'll be able to go and get the storm stormy marker guys honestly i've done that way too much in this video i've pretty much shown you guys how to get it. i'm not gonna do it again because i've already got that one and honestly i don't know how i failed on that so many times in this video literally i've got it the, well the when i showed you guys how to get that when it came out i literally got it well it's the first try so i don't know what's happening right now anyway guys for the next one the tan marker claim up that one over there and then we have another marker just located in here right now this one is the liquid marker claim up that one over there okay guys now you have the liquid marker you guys are gonna want to go ahead and follow me right now so for this next one here what does this say big big my beloved right okay anyway for that um for this next one you guys need to follow me right now we actually need to go ahead and go into these houses right over here go inside um and then claim up there the red marker in there now you have the red marker exit this clock tower and i'll show you guys what to do to get no 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 don't exit it go up here and then up here after that guys you will be able to go in and get the ghost marker just of there, guys just jump for it claim it up right now guys okay now you have the ghost marker follow me for another one so for this one we need to go ahead and go to um whereabouts is this one that we need to go to um i think it is right okay so for this one we need to go up to um this area in the map right now and now once you guys are here you are going to want to go over to here jump up there jump up there and then um jump onto this tree right now once you guys are on this tree you will see that there is this like missing texture bit over here step on that now you guys will teleport into here claim up the missing texture marker another easy one to go ahead and claim up let's teleport back to spawn though and now you guys have that one follow me for another one okay so for this one we need to go ahead and go to um the is it the pyramid area no actually i don't think it is i think it's over here in like the, the mountain area right now okay let's go ahead and go to the mountain area and i'll show you guys what to do next once you are here so you are essentially gonna want to go ahead and go over to here all right let's try this again jump up here and then once you guys are down here right now you can go over here and then just go in there and then guys you can get the black mark over here guys claim up that one right now okay now we have that one follow me over here teleport wait actually um right okay so for this next one you, what you guys are going to want to go ahead and do is spell out hill rock so h-i-l-l-r-o-c-k enter that in guys now that's going to go ahead and go red um and then essentially what we need to do next is right pretty much guys also i just need to tell you while i am doing this so hill um o c k i am doing this right now guys but the thing is nothing's appearing up on my screen guys there should be something appearing appearing on your screen right now while you guys are entering in this in so h l he'll rock again so h i l l r o c k and then once you guys have typed it in for a third time um then you are gonna be able to go ahead and get the cough drop cough drop marker guys it is a shame that i can't show you guys um me getting it at this point in time however if you guys just keep on typing hill rock you guys can eventually get it honestly i'm not too sure what's happened because i did record a video after i got that one and it was still working i'm not too sure why like also with the other markers as well it's a bit weird guys but anyway okay let's go ahead and go to um the washable kingdom right now i'll show you guys how to get some over there let's go up to the clock tower let's try this again let's jump up this oh never mind teleport failed to an unexpected error okay this is not not what i want to see at all right let's try this again game please just teleport me to a game right now uh, can i be teleported this better not just be an unex unexpected error come on man roblox i don't want this happening during my video right now oh great right looks like i'll meet you all back once i've eventually been teleported but essentially guys all you need to go in and do is just climb up there maybe my server's a bit dodgy right now because 
I don't know what's happened here, but yeah, just climb up there, then you'll be teleported to the Washable Kingdom. There we eventually go, teleport to the Washable Kingdom right now, and I'll show you guys how to get this, um, this one over here, so there's a periwinkle marker, claim up that one over there guys, a nice and easy one, let's sprint all the way over to the lily pad, and I'll show you guys how to get the lily pad marker, so you are gonna wanna go ahead and go to this lily pad over here, jump on it, and then guys, just over here, you can get the lily pad marker, claim up that one right now guys, a nice and easy one, let's exit out of there this time, and I'll show you guys how to get another one, so for this next one guys, what you need to go ahead and do over here is follow me right now, so for the archer marker, it's just gonna be by the side of this castle, I'll show you guys how to get this one just over here guys for the, the archer marker claim up that right now guys an easy one to go ahead and get anyway once you have that follow me right now for this next one actually you know what i'll show you guys how to get the torch marker next so jump up here and then you guys are going to want to go ahead and go around here there we go now you have done that you guys are gonna want to go ahead and go up here again and claim up the torture markets just over there guys nice and easy anyway now you have that one um i'll show you guys how to get another one so jump down here and then into here guys you're gonna go ahead and find the dragon marker a really really easy one to go ahead and claim up right over there anyway let's teleport back to spawn right now and i'll show you guys how to get even more for the next one guys it's gonna be the bluish gray marker for this one, you actually need to go ahead and complete a little bit of invisible parkour. Um, so hopefully we can go ahead and complete this right now um, in this video today because, yeah, well, whatever it's parkour for me, you never predict how it's going to go. It's either going to go absolutely terrible or I'm going to get there like first try. Right. Okay. Let's, uh, you know, let's turn off sprint because I don't really want to be rushing this at all, really. Um, and let's do this right now. So let's jump on here. Oh wow, onto there. Next one's over there, claim up that one. And then you guys can just jump on the tree if you miss that. Oh well, that's great, isn't it? I was gonna say you can just jump on the tree if you miss that, guys, but essentially just go up there and get that one over there. That's how you guys can get the bluish gray marker. There's no point in me actually going up for it again because one, it doesn't even show that I've got it because I've already got it. And two, it's probably just a waste of time. Anyway, guys, for the next one, for the wizard marker, follow me right now, guys. Also, if this video is helping you out in any way, make sure you guys smash the subscribe button. It would be greatly appreciated. Anyway, the wizard marker is just in there, guys. And then, for the golden marker, I think that's what it's called, you guys are going to want to go ahead and go up here. And then, is it this one? I think it is. Yeah, just go up this. Um, be nice if I could go up. Go up this. Uh, this tower right now once you guys are up this tower go into there jump in the window and then you guys can get the golden mark over here nice and simple okay now we have that right now let's teleport back to spawn and here i'm going to show you guys how to get a ton of markers over here so for this next one guys go into the castle and then you are gonna go ahead and get the king marker over here an easy one to go ahead and claim up okay now we have the king marker follow me for another marker guys for this one this is the knight marker this one it did take me quite a while to go ahead and get for this one guys you are actually going to be given a sword once you get up here you need to go ahead and kill the knight marker once you guys have killed the night marker then you'll be able to go ahead and claim it up guys it will take a little bit of time to go ahead and do this i know it did for me personally it took me about 10 minutes to go ahead and get this one just because it's one shot and also sometimes other people do kill the marker um so yeah it's quite hard to know if you guys have got it if you guys have actually killed it and you are the person who killed it you will see the badge in the bottom right and something will appear on screen right now but essentially guys you just need to kill the the night mark i'll try i'll have one more go at this i don't really think it's anything's gonna happen to me does this do damage to people i don't know but yeah but actually no never mind guys we killed it there we go guys we killed the mark over there so that would if i hadn't already claimed it up that would have shown up on my screen that i just claimed up the marker which is quite nice okay anyway now we have that marker follow me right over here guys so what we need to go ahead and do is go down here i think um and then we actually no i think uh we need to go no never mind guys i'm wrong so we need to go ahead and go into this bush right now and then just in here you're gonna you're gonna go ahead and get the princess marker claim up that one right now now you have that one the mud marker it's just gonna be near this mud pile right now and then go ahead and get this one over there. And there you go, guys. The mud marker, nice and easy. You guys may be able to see that firefly marker just from there. All you need to do is just jump onto the, the lily pad and then just get this one over here, guys. Quite a simple one to go in and get. There we go. Okay, so now we have that one over here. I'm going to show you guys how to get one more marker over here. Honestly, guys, to be fair, the washable kingdom 
Um, the markers in this one aren't really that hard to get in terms in terms of doing like parkour and that, which I'm not going to complain about, but I'm quite glad because I definitely would not have wanted them to be really, really hard. Because to be fair, guys, some of them in the normal world are really hard. Anyway, guys, there we go. We've got the ice marker. Let's teleport back to spawn right now. And I'll tell you guys how to get the primrose marker. Well, this one, it's just going to be in one of these, like, markets over here. Just go ahead and get that one over there, guys. An easy one to claim up. Okay, now we have that one, guys. You need to go ahead and go to... Let's try that again. You need to go to this end of the map. You guys can see this marker without a lid on. Get that one right now, guys. That would have counted, but that's the BFDI marker. An easy one to go ahead and claim up again. Um, but yeah, it didn't show up on my screen just because I have already claimed that one. Okay, for the next one, guys, the merchant marker. You guys may be, may be able to see a marker over here. Just talk to the merchant. If it lets us, there we go. Hi, can I collect you? And they're going to say to collect 10 coins. Then, hopefully, if my game is not broken, there we go, guys. Okay, so that's good. And um, the coin, the coins actually spawn in. So, for the first coin, claim up this one over here, guys. There we go. For the next one, it's just going to be over here. Claim up that one right now. Now we have that one. You guys may be able to see another coin just on top of that, like, market stand over there. So, let's do that right now. Let's claim up that one. Jump up here and claim up that one right now. Now we have that one. We can get this one that's just hanging around down here. Claim up that one over there. And anyway, maybe you have another one that's just on that tree. Let's claim up that one. You guys probably know what to do. Jump on this. Jump over to here and get that one right now. Now we have that. You guys then need to go to this area and collect this coin right now. Um, So let's do that. Wait, actually, yeah, there is a coin in here, guys. So just keep that in mind. There we go. We've claimed up that coin. Then there is a coin in here. Claim up this coin. And there's also another coin just up there, guys. So claim up that one as well let's walk up here now we have that one follow me all you guys need to go ahead and do is go all the way up to the top and then guys once you are up at the top um i'll show you what to do next so you need to go ahead and get this one that's just on the side of this right now claim up that one over there you know what? i think we might as well just jump down that way and then we actually need to go into the ice place again and just in the ice place, you guys will go ahead and see another marker. Let's go in there. Not marker, sorry. Um, another coin. Now we have them, 10 coins. All you guys need to do is return to the merchant marker right now. Let's talk to talk to them. There we go, guys. While, while you actually got all 10, fine, you win. And click click on good. I think it might automatically um give you it, guys. Or you can just run into the merchant marker. And then you'll go ahead and get it quite an easy one to go in and get okay guys for the next one it is the bioluminescent marker this one it's all about these mushrooms over here and we need to actually click the right pattern of mushrooms i'll tell you guys exactly which ones to click and do them in the exact same order as me so first one guys it's just going to be over here so click on this one now we've done that you guys are going to want to go ahead and run back to this corner click on this mushroom right now now you've clicked on that guys go ahead and go over to go over to here click on that one also guys just keep in mind do not click them all the ones click on this one and then over to here you guys need to click on this one then we'll be teleported over here and there you go guys claim of the bioluminescent marker easy okay now let's go ahead i think that is actually all of the markers in this game right now let's teleport to spawn right over here and let's return to the um it says here return to the present let's go ahead and do that right now guys also find the markers will be updating quite soon wait actually no when this video does come out the new markers will have already been shown on this channel. I'm recording this video just to make it better, better quality for you guys. Because um, my past videos, one, I barely showed you guys how to get a few properly. And also two, well, it was just a little bit lower um, low quality, guys, in terms of video quality. Okay, anyway, follow me over here. And for this next one, guys, you need to go ahead and follow me right now. This bit, it's definitely... I don't know if it's the most difficult marker in the game. It's definitely one of the most difficult in the game, guys. The marker I'll be showing you guys how to get today is... To get right now, sorry, is the, the difficulty chart marker. So, let's go into here right now. And let's go into this place. And then, all we need to go in and type in is the word difficulty. So, D-I-F-F-I-C-U-L-T-Y. And that in over there, guys. Now we've entered that in. We're then going to teleport to the difficulty chart place. Also, guys, keep in mind, there is another marker that I need to show you guys how to get into the, in this game today. So, um, like, game as in, like, this difficulty chart place. So, just 
just watch where I'm going, guys, so you can go ahead and get it. Let's do this bit of parkour over here. Honestly, I've done this so many times right now. It's not even that hard anymore for me until I get to the later stages, of course. But yeah, let's go ahead and do this up here. And then over here, I'm surprised I made this so quickly. And then, yeah, I say that now, and then that happens. Okay, I'll meet you all back once I've made it to that stage over there, because I'll show you guys what to do next. Okay, guys, 10 minutes later, and I've eventually made it past there. But for this one, you guys are going to want to go ahead and shift lock, walk straight forwards, guys, keep on holding forwards, and then go left at the same time. Now you've done that, guys, right. I don't want to, like, mess this up. Let's just climb down there. And then let's complete this bit over here. I'm just going to go ahead and zoom in first person and then make it across here. Okay, guys, now you are here. You have two choices. But you can do this, these either time. But essentially, guys, the first choice is to go ahead and continue along the difficulty um, chart and complete it. Therefore, at the end, you'll go ahead and get the difficulty chart marker. Or you can go ahead and get the runner marker by jumping up here, guys. Keep in mind, you can get both of these, but just whatever order you want to do them in. I'm just going to show you guys the runner marker first. And you may be able to see just down here, there is a marker right at the end of it, guys. So all you need to go ahead and do for the runner marker is run st straight forwards. And then for the diff difficulty chart one, um, one, complete the difficulty chart, guys. I will not be completing the difficulty chart today because one simply it's going to take me so long and i don't really think you guys want to watch me do all that work um and just fail like 100 times and two i don't think i can physically i don't think i'm physically good enough at roblox obbies to go ahead and do that that difficulty chart thing guys yeah i'm definitely not gonna i'm not gonna go ahead and do that today um i may do it in my spare time if i have a lot of spare time because honestly it's probably going to take me like an hour to get that one but yeah essentially I'm not going to show you guys how to get that one today, but all you need to do for that one is actually just complete it. Okay, but anyway, we are now approaching the end of this right over here. And as you guys can see, there is actually the runner marker over here. So all you need to go ahead and do for this one is run all the way over here right now. And there you go, guys, the runner marker. Once you guys are done with this game, if you guys don't want to go back into Roblox, you just click on this button over here, and then you'll be able to go ahead and return to find the markers. And now I'm going to show you guys how to get some more okay so now you're here right now i'm gonna show you guys how to get even more markers we are back in the game over here that's that's probably the hardest markers um the hardest marker that you'll end up getting so don't worry about anything else um but anyway guys what we need to go ahead and do is just walk up here and then just over wait actually no well um over here guys you are gonna go ahead and get this marker right now i think this one's called the olive marker i think yeah, I think this one's called the Olive Marker, guys. So you can just claim up that one right now. Anyway, moving on. For the next one, you guys need to follow me right now. Go to this house. Go up the stairs. And just in here, guys, in this bed, you're going to go and find the Dream Marker. Now we have that one. Follow me right now, guys, for another one. For the Hammer Marker, you guys need to go ahead and go into this one right now. Go upstairs. Can you guess where we're going next? We're actually going to go into the bath. Jump on the hammer. And then there, you guys, you can go ahead and get the Hammer Marker. Now we have that one. Let's go out of the bath. And I'll show you guys how to get another one. So, now we've got that one, guys. Follow me for another one. Do you guys which house we are going to go ahead and go in? Well, the house that we're going to go in next is going to be this one. And for this one, guys, just on the computer, you can see this one over here, guys. The Markiplier marker right there. Claim off that one right now. Um, Right, okay. Now we have that one. You need to go ahead and go to this house. This next one. Go upstairs again. And just under the bed right now. There you guys can go ahead and get the baby marker. Claim up that one right now. Okay, guys. So now you have those. Um, I'll show you guys how to get even more. So, um, follow me over here. Go up them. And then, for the next few ones, we need to go ahead and go to here. And then, walk. Right, pretty much for this one, guys. Go in it. And then go straight forwards so you can then go ahead and get the pebble mark over here. Then for that one right now. Once you guys have done that, just go straight to the bottom. And then you'll be able to go ahead and get the crayon marker. Now you can just simply click on this. Um, click on it. I mean, stand on it to go back to spawn. And I'll show you guys how to get another one. So, once you guys have that one, don't do that. Um, I'll show you guys what to do after. So, what you need to go ahead and do next is go over to... Um, Right, I think, actually, wait, no, never mind, sorry, guys, we need to go ahead and go to spawn, and then teleport to the gallery, yeah. okay, let's teleport to the, gal to the gallery right now, and now we are here, I'll show you guys how to get the magenta void marker, so, go to, just over here, and then go straight forwards, you guys can probably see this, go right, 
and then you guys can see in the magenta room over here if you guys just walk straight forward you guys can see this just in the middle of the sign right now claim of that on over there guys okay anyway now let's teleport back to spawn i'll show you guys how to get even more so for the next few ones over here what you guys need to go ahead and do is follow me right now go behind here and then just in here guys you are going to be able to walk straight forwards and claim up the realistic marker right over there anyway for the next one guys the cactus marker can you guess where we're where we're going to be going we're gonna go to this cactus over here guys claim up that marker over there okay for the next one guys the salmon marker um we need to go ahead and go to the to the pyramid and then just in one of these places in the pyramid you guys can get the salmon marker if you guys haven't already smashed the like button make sure you guys go ahead and do that because one like equals one um one rip in the trap for my jaw because I'm talking for the for this long um, it's not enjoyable. Anyway, guys, we got the sand marker over there. Claim up that one right now. Now you guys have the sand marker. Follow me for the temple marker. We need to walk up these ladders. And now you guys are... Right, let's try that again. So you need to walk up the ladders. And now you guys are here. Right, you need to go ahead and watch out for this. Jump up there. And there, guys, you can go ahead and get the temple marker. There we go, guys. Nice and easy. Anyway, let's go back to spawn. Um, because it's just a bit of a quicker way and then for the flower marker it would be nice if we didn't fall off that you guys need to go in and complete this bit it is um well to be fair it's technically not really that hard it's just all to do with like this one honestly there's a bit of like um stra strategy in this one just i recommend walking right on the left hand side for that first one and wait for this one you do you guys just need to just hope for the best Long, long oh wow i'm surprised i managed to get through there right but essentially guys you need to make it through there and then you go ahead and get the flower marker just up there guys and um, yeah that's all you need to go ahead and do for that one just keep on trying and eventually you will make it and that's another one that i'm not gonna show you guys how exactly to get that one today just because it's probably not worth me showing you guys anyway for this next one we have the cyan marker it's just over here guys claim up that one right now now we have the cyan marker follow me for even more so we need to then go into the cave once we are in the cave follow me so we need to go ahead and go to the dummy right now jump on top of the dummy's head wait actually um there, there we go never mind and then we're going to be able to go and get the dummy marker just over there guys now you have that one you can then go back out of here and i'll show you guys what to do next you need to go into here to get there what's this one marker seed the fallen i think that's that, what that one is called and then for the next one guys the crystal marker it's just going to be in this room and then go straight forwards over there where you guys can get the crystal marker nice and simple okay now we have that ones guys follow me teleport to spawn and then we are going to want to go ahead and go over here so i'll show you guys what to do next jump up here right now there we go and then onto this tree there we go guys and then now all we need to go ahead and do is just go down here where you guys can then get the blue marker an easy one to claim up okay now we have that one right now follow me over here for some more so for the next one guys we need to go ahead and get the marker stuck this one it's not really that hard to go ahead and get but first guys we need to go ahead and talk to this blue marker over here guys let's go ahead and talk to this one over here there we go guys and we're gonna say what is wrong and then they're gonna say something about stuff around the map click on sure guys um and then yeah it's gonna say there's like free stuff that we need to claim up along the map and i'll show you guys what to do next so now we've talked to that person um let's go ahead and get the rest of these right now so what we need to go ahead and do is walk all the way over to this end i think um and then go over to here once you guys are over here go over here right now walk straight forwards and then jump off there there we go next guys just behind this tree you are gonna go ahead and find this marker right now guys just run into it that's gonna allow you to claim it up okay now we've claimed up that one i'll show you guys how to get another marker so you know guys you might as well teleport to put one for this one it's gonna be a lot easier for this one guys you need to go ahead and go to the house i'll show you guys what to do once you guys are in the house so go in the house right now we go and then there's just the yellow marker over there guys claim up that one over there and now we have that one you guys need to go ahead and go behind this area um i'll show you guys what to do once you are 
in that area right now. I forgot actually how we get that one over there. Um, I, oh no, I forgot about that one as well. That's not going to be enjoyable. Right, anyway, guys, essentially for this one, just jump over here that bit because I don't know what that exactly that was. And then get the red mark over there, guys. Okay, so now we have that one. Um, You guys are going to want to go ahead and follow me right now. Let's teleport back to spawn. We actually, no, 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 no. Um, We actually, yes, teleport to spawn over here. And then you guys can see a massive stack of markers over here. Let's talk to the blue marker again, though. Um, Here we go. It's going to say something about thanks so much for finding my friends. And then yay. And then jump into the stack of markers. Then you guys are going to go ahead and get the stack of markers. Nice and simple. Okay, now we have that one over here. Follow me for the golden one. I'm gonna teleport to spawn to speed things up a little. But then next, we need to go ahead and go over to um, this area right now. Um, and then all we need to do for this one is go behind here again. And you may have actually seen like a golden, um, a golden like pad over here. Yeah, we need to go ahead and um we need to jump on that that'll teleport us to the golden room over here claim up that one right now okay for this next one guys it's going to be the smoke marker you need to that was close you need to go in and jump out of there right now and i'll show you guys what to do next okay so for this one guys all we need to go in and do is jump right all we need to go in and do is jump up here and then onto this up there and then guys, just over here, you're gonna go in and get the smoke marker. Nice and simple. Okay, now we have that one. Follow me over here, guys. We need to go in and get the lavender marker. For this one, you need to follow me right over here. So for this one, guys, um, go over to here. Then, um, then we need to jump over here. Right now, once you guys have done that, you're gonna go in and find this like purple box jump into it now you're going to teleport over here claim up that one right now now we have claimed up that one jump out of there and then i'll show you guys what to do to go ahead and get the skinny marker so to get this marker you need to walk around here right now then just over here you need to go left and then eventually guys you're going to get the skinny marker that is a, that's one weird marker over there guys um right okay anyway now we have the skinny marker i'll show you guys what to do next to get get another marker um, I think we're about halfway done now, guys, which is nice to hear because then I'll actually be able to go and give my jaw a bit of a rest. Anyway, for the next one, for the cork marker, you need to go to the mountain and then go over here. There we go, guys. Go in the mountain. You guys can probably find that one over there. There we go, guys. Okay, next for the capitalist marker, you guys can go ahead and see it just over here. So we walk straight forwards right now and then walk up there. There you go, guys. Claim up the capitalist marker. Nice and simple. Um, anyway, once you have that one, let's go ahead and get the triple marker right now. Um, so jump up here. Uh, there we go. And then complete this. And then, guys, you can get the triple marker. Um, next, what we need to go in and do is probably teleport spawner. It might be a bit quicker. But then, this time, we need to go in and get the rock marker by going over to here. And then... Once we are here right now, you guys can probably find the rock marker. It's just over here. Save up that one right now. Okay, now we have the rock marker. Follow me for the next one. Teleport to spawn again. And I'll show you guys what to do to get this one. So we need to actually go to the pyramid. And then this one's probably going to be a little bit challenging as well. Um, We need to go ahead and go over to here where it's a bit weird. And essentially for this one, we need to dodge all of these swords, which sometimes you touch them for no reason. But there we go, guys. Okay, so we got that one over there. You may also see that there is a door um, just behind this one over here, guys. Go through that door and then you'll be able to go in and get this. What's this one? Like, uh, not too sure what that one's called, guys, but I'll claim up that one right now. Anyway, now we have... I think this one, yeah, no, this is called the strawberry mark. I don't know what that is for, but anyway, let's teleport to spawn over here. I'll show you guys what to do to get more markers right now. So, for the maroon marker, follow me, go into the cave. I'm actually going to turn on sprint again, and then go left right now, and then just over here, you guys can find this one, claim that one up right now. Okay, now we have that one. Follow me for another one. Let's go to spawn. And then let's go to this massive um, mountain area right over here. So 
um, we need to go ahead and go over to here right now then just on the grass you guys can probably find the grass marker claim up that one over there okay now we have that one follow me over here jump up this place and then you are going to go ahead and get the big orange marker by going over here wait no no go to the eggs and then you'll be able to go ahead and get the big orange marker over here guys claim up that one right now we actually know we need to go ahead and talk um yeah, say yay, and then you'll actually probably be able to go ahead and get that one right now, guys, which is quite nice. Okay, anyway, now we have that one. Let's go back over to here, and then jump up. Right, let's try that. I don't want to jump on them again, actually, so jump up here, and then just over here, guys, you can get the brown marker, and nice and simple. Okay, now we have the brown marker. You guys can probably find that one up there. I'll show you guys how to get that one later on. But anyway, guys, now we have the brown marker. Follow me, there's a lot that I'll be showing you guys how to get on this mountain. There was a lot that I could remember on here. Okay, so follow me right now. Go up this place, up this place, and then for the bone marker, it's just in these set of bones right now. Claim up that one over there. Now we have that one. Follow me for another one. So we need to go ahead and jump up here, up here. Then we actually, I think we need to... Yeah, jump up there and then guys you can go ahead and get this one over here which i showed you guys how to get a little bit earlier claim up that one right now okay so now we have that one let's go back out of here and then follow me we need to go ahead and go up this massive mountain right now um so let's do this right okay so now you've done that go ahead and go over to here complete this there we go nice and simple um and then walk up here right now now you've done that follow me go up here and then jump up here to get the pink marker and now you have that one i don't think we actually need to go up there just go up here and then um for this one guys all you need to go ahead and do is just go up this tree right i don't want to fall off right jump on this tree under there right i'm surprised you actually managed to get up there and now once we are here i'll show you guys what to do so go ahead and walk onto this and then walk onto that now we've walked onto that one um go back along on here then go up here and there you go guys that's how you can go ahead and get that aurora marker that one nice and easy although it does look like it'd probably be a bit harder than what it is you just you go ahead and pick the right paths just to reduce your chances of falling off okay but anyway guys for another one you need to go ahead and go over to um you know what guys right okay let's jump off here wait i know no, never mind we can't looks like we need to go down here and then go into this bit right now guys okay so now we are here you need to then go over to this bit guys apologies because it's really really dark then jump over to here now you guys are over here right now you can probably get the shot you can probably see the shadow marker just it's just over here guys claim up that right now i'll sh well you guys can see there you've got the outline of it just over there guys that's the shadow marker and that's how you guys can get that one okay anyway now you have the shadow marker follow me i'll show you guys how to get the rainbow marker so for this we need to exit this room and then jump up here now we have done that just walk straight along here right now and there you go guys get the rainbow marker nice and simple i'm surprised i didn't fall off there um i was meant to fall off that time okay but anyway for the next one guys the green marker for this one it is quite simple you will see like this strip of green all you need to do is go to it and then just underneath it guys you're gonna go in and find the green marker claim up that one right now that probably would have claimed it up if i um if i hadn't already but i can't actually see if i've claimed it up or not because of course i have um i have already and it's not shown up if, if i have or not okay but anyway guys for this one um to be honest for this one guys all you need to go ahead and do is just run down here i'll show you guys what to do next after you have the after you have had this one um also for this video i do aim to like put down the time of it because my, like my last video was about two hours to show you guys all of these markers but anyway guys get that one over here so yeah i think that makes it a lot better for you guys just that these videos are a bit shorter because one it allows you to go in and get um a, like more markers in a shorter period of time which i'm guessing you guys may find easier anyway guys let's claim up that one over there the mega marker nice and easy okay anyway now we have that one let's teleport to spawn and i'll show you guys how to get another one 
to go into here right now and then we need to go into the sewers go just in that place right now and then you guys will find the dark green well wait let's try this again teleport us to the sewers please there we go okay so now we are here i'll show you guys how to get this one this is the dark green market and it's is it just over here uh i think it is guys yeah i think it's wait, right there we go guys it's just over there claim up the dark green marker anyway now we have that one right now i'll show you guys what you need to do next is go to this claim up that one right now okay now we have that um go into the safe and then just over here guys you can go ahead and get this one over here guys the platinum marker nice and simple okay now we have the platinum marker let's teleport back to spawn um and i'll show you guys what to do to then get the zombie marker this one i'm guessing you guys may know to where to may know where to go it's just going to be in the grave over here guys so go in the into the grave and then you guys can get the zombie marker over there anyway moving on let's go ahead and go to the house right now now once we are over at the house um i'll show you guys what to do so we need to get the light bulb marker this one just climb actually and um, they have claimed that run they have changed it around a little bit just go up there and then guys you can get the the light bulb markers be fair you can probably actually get that from jumping up actually can you probably well you can easily get it from there and just jumping up there guys so yeah that's how you can go ahead and get the light bulb marker anyway once we have the light bulb marker follow me guys we need to go ahead and get the dirt marker so for this one we need to go over to here and then follow me so we need to go in here right now guys walk in there there you go guys you get the dirt marker for the next one guys the chicken marker um follow me so we need to go over to here and then we actually need to go onto this step on the rock guys and then once you step on the rock it's gonna it's gonna make you fly up then you guys are just gonna want to walk forwards and it, um, allow you guys to get the chicken marker over there guys nice and simple do not jump down though because we need to stay up this area now you're here go back then you're going to be teleported up to here where you can get the balloon marker claim up that one right now now you have the balloon marker go back over here stand on that and then you can jump off and onto the house right now now you guys are on the house you can go ahead and get that one on the roof okay next we need to go ahead and go back to spawn and we need to go to the keypad room in the mountain to go ahead and get the evil one so i'll show you guys what to do there let's walk all the way over here Wait, do they have like so this of course is the donation thing. Um, but it would be nice if like they added the shop where I could just buy extra speed. Honestly, it would make it a lot easier for these videos. Okay, but anyway guys, all we need to go ahead and do is just go back to the the typing room and I'll show you guys what to go ahead and type in to get the evil marker. So we need to go ahead and type in in vert. Enter. Now we've done that, it's gonna go green and it's gonna allow us to go in here where you can get the demon marker nice and simple okay guys now you have that one i'll show you guys how to get another one in here to be fair this one it's got quite a quite a lot of stuff that we can just type in and and get markers from so for and at least on that for this next one guys the teapot marker we need to go ahead and type in mr marker marker maker Ma Mr. Market Maker, type that in, enter that in now, guys. And then this floor is going to open up for you to then jump down and get the teapot marker. Nice and simple. Can we? Yeah, we can actually um, walk back up there, but we don't really need to do that because now we are going to go ahead and teleport to spawn over here. And I'll show you guys how to get some more markers right now. Okay, so now we have done that and got the teapot marker. Follow me over here. What we need to go ahead and do is go over to um this area right now right okay let's try that again right okay let's go over to here and then i'll show you guys what to do so for this one you guys need to go ahead and go over to here and then go over here right now after you've done that go behind here enter in passcode l5 L P D N N N. Enter that in and enter that in there, guys. As you can see, success. Now it has said that we are then going to be able to go ahead and get this marker that is down here. Right, okay, let's try that. And get okay. This is gonna be a pain. But yeah, guys, essentially just jump down there and you'll be able to go ahead and get that one. Okay. Anyway, moving on for the next one, guys. It's gonna be the industrial marker. 
um you guys need to go in and go into this um factory place i'll show you guys what to do once you're here so simply get the industrial marker just over here guys claim over that one over there now you have that one um follow me go over here and complete this this is nowhere near as hard as the one in the difficulty chart obby so then get that one over there guys the lava jump marker now you have that one i'm just going to go in and go backwards on this pit because i want to show you guys how to get another one in here then go into here right now you guys can go ahead and get this key once you've got this key guys click on it then go back over to here this room will also open up where you can get the box marker just for that guys claim up that one right now okay now you have the box marker um follow me right now go back over here wait no 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 go over to here jump down and then just over here guys you can get this marker right now the white marker claim up that one over there now you guys have that one go to the sewer pipe and then you guys can find the rust marker it is just right whereabouts is it yeah it's just here guys claim up that one right now okay now you have that one i'll show you guys how to get a few more over here so let's teleport back to spawn right now and we need, to, we need to go back into the factory over here these ones are all going to be like for the outer space areas i'll show you guys how to get these okay so go over to here right now we are nearly done hopefully um so go over here and go down a spawn once you guys have done that go back to the rocket place get that over there guys underneath the rocket you'll find the rocket marker itself claim up that one right now for the next one guys is the martian marker Follow me, we need to simply run all the way over to this, uh, this like crater thing, what do you say? This like mound. Anyway, let's get this one over here. There we go guys, nice and simple. Click on that one right now. Anyway, moving on for the next few ones, the star key marker, I think this one is. Um, Let's simply go into this building right now and I'll show you guys what to do. This is one big building to be fair, but essentially you guys need to go in and go left over here, then just keep on walking around and i'll show you guys how exactly you can get this one it's not that hard to go in and get but just go in here and then you guys can get the star key marker claim up that one right now okay now you have that star key marker follow me over here to get some more so this one i'll be showing you guys how to get is the supernova marker for this one guys we need to go ahead and do a few what do you say experiments i'd probably say so but for this one guys you need to go ahead and um go to this panel right now guys open this panel up and i'll show you guys what to do so um do it in the order that i do so leave four and then click that then guys leave two and click that after that the yellow one it's one over there then one over there then it is one over here and then it's one back right at the beginning then guys that's gonna go in and show up just like that then we can then go back um and then we need to actually collect a key which the key is just behind this like mound so let's claim up this key there we go we've got the key right now and all we need to go ahead and do is then insert the key into the slot of this thing right now i'll show you guys what to do once you've done that okay go over here put that key in then the supernova marker marker will appear i'll show you guys what to do to get this one so for this one guys go over to here right now and as you guys can see in here there is a supernova marker nice and simple okay now we have that one for this one guys honestly right this next bit it's a little bit hard it's really it's right it's not hard but you just need to be you need to be careful about where you are going because it's really really dark and um, this place guys so let's go ahead and go straight forwards right now and to get the space marker go down here where uh where the arrow points so then go right let's try that again go straight forwards right now then you will be teleported into this room the space marker aim up that one over there you know what guys actually i think i'll be showing you guys how to get some more later on so for the next one we need to go ahead and walk up here go to the moon right now then you can get the cheese marker but just over there guys claim up that one right now now you have that you can then walk up there and then just over here you guys can get this marker over there guys nice and simple the sus marker Okay, but essentially, guys, how you, how, um, and now you have that marker, you guys need to go ahead and follow me right over here. So, teleport to spawn, and then we need to go into the factory once again. So, um, moving on for this one, we need to simply go over to here, and then in the 
the rooms of the factory. So go over here, then over to here. Now you guys have done that in this room, you guys can find the permanent marker. Claim I've got on right now, guys. Okay, so now we have that, which is nice. Um, we can then hmm, click on that, guys. I think we need that clicked. Um, so now follow me. Go over to here. Um, right, okay, but essentially, guys, okay, so for this one, pretty much, this is the time marker, guys, and for the time marker, a portal will appear, um, just over here right now, guys. Every five minutes, a small portal will occur, and essentially, um, it's gonna spawn here every five minutes, guys, so you can probably just wait here for a little while, and just wait for this portal to actually appear, guys. Once it has appeared, just walk straight inside of it. And then you'll be able to go in and get the time marker, guys. I'm probably not going to wait five minutes just to get this one. Just because I have already got it. So, yeah, I don't really know if it would be worth me getting the time marker. I'm waiting all this time to go ahead and get that one right now, guys. But, yeah, you can just simply get the time one from waiting there for five minutes until the portal spawns. Okay, anyway, let's go to the to the snow area and then essentially for this one we need to go ahead and go over to here right now and actually we need to get the, the explode marker by clicking on this button it's actually going to explode us but when that happens we'll be able to go ahead and get the explode marker guys which is nice but anyway moving on let's run back over here right now and i'll show you guys how to get even more right over here so all we need to go ahead and do right now is go into here and then just behind here guys you can go ahead and get the mint marker over there guys nice and simple now we have that one follow me over here all we need to go ahead and do is actually right you know what? no we need to go to this area um guys let's go over here and then for well, this one guys this is the devil marker and i tell you guys this right now this one's horrible it's horrible to go ahead and get guys if i do remember correctly I don't know if I was able to go ahead and get this one, guys. Or I could be thinking about a different one. But essentially, all we need to go ahead and do right now is actually do it. Now, don't do that. Jump off this. And then back on. There we go. Okay, so now we've done that. We need to go ahead and... But essentially... Right, that's so annoying. But essentially, guys, you need to go ahead and make your way down there while it's going against the side. And then... Wait, actually, you know what, guys? I'll try it again. I might be, I might be able to go ahead and get it. It's not that hard... Actually, I was thinking about a different one, to be fair. It's not that hard to go ahead and get. It's just that you need to um, just keep on going against the left-hand side wall. Right, okay. There we go. And then go straight forwards. Honestly, guys, it may even be a bit easier just to not press shift. Hmm. Don't know what was happening there, guys. But essentially, just keep on going forwards. And then eventually you'll go in and get the devil marker. Nice and simple. It's just around the corner of there, guys. But essentially, now you have that one. Follow me for another one. For the line marker, you guys actually need to go ahead and go to... Um, is it, It's one of these. Right now, it's one of these corner bits. I think it might be this one. Yeah, it's just down here, guys. Claim up that one right now. That corner bit was just over here next to the cave. Claim up the line marker. Now you have the line marker. Follow me for another one. The medium stone gray marker. Follow me to get this one, guys. So we need to go ahead and go to... Um, where else is this one? Um, I think it is just... Yeah, right. No, never mind. This is the one... Um, this is the one that I was thinking about, guys. And this one's horrible. So let's jump off here. Right, okay, I think this one, you guys do need to go ahead and run. Um, yeah, you do need to run for this one. Go over there. Over to there. Over to there. Right, I'm surprised I was managed to get that. Um, and then... Right, yeah, I forgot how much this one was bad. But also, guys, the good thing about this one is that... Um, you... If you fall off, you don't go back to spawn. Right, okay, let's try this again. I hate this one, guys. There we go. No. Right, okay, let's try this again. I'll try one more time. And if not, then that's probably going to be it for that one, guys. Uh, I mean, is it any much benefit for you guys if I just show you me filling like 100 times? To go ahead and, yeah, right, one more time, you know, guys, because I really want to go ahead and get this one. I've not yet got this one, guys. Right, let's jump up here. Let's jump up here. 
actually i don't know if it would be easier or not to disable um disable sprint for this one i think it might be guys um wait would it would it even be possible to make it over there actually yeah i think it's easier to to just disable sprint on this one wait did i even i didn't even disable sprint on that right, that's annoying right okay let's do this again one final time and if i don't make it this time guys then that's just me giving up oh, there we go yeah but essentially guys just complete that over there then you can see just over there guys the medium stone grade marker i hate that one so much that's one of the ones that i just can't get but i'm guessing a lot of you guys probably will be able to because you are all probably a lot better than me at this game guys okay for this next one guys it's going to be the marker cornbread um and essentially for this one all you guys need to go ahead and do is wait one minute let me quickly check this um well, actually right uh is it even uh, hmm uh marker cornbread right you know i'm just going to show you guys how to get this one i think um right okay but essentially all we need to go ahead and do is follow me right now okay so go in here click these in the same order so click on the yellow one first there we go guys we have clicked on the yellow one now we have clicked on that one follow me so all we need to go ahead and do next is click on another another um another dot somewhere else around the map this next dot that we need to go ahead and click is just gonna be inside the house actually do i um I don't know if we actually need this one, guys. Wait, do we need this one? Um, hmm. Don't know if we need this one. I think, right, pretty much. Wait, one second, guys. Um, I don't think this one's an actual marker. I think this, we actually know. Never mind, it is an actual marker. Just ignore what I've been saying for the past 10 minutes. Okay, guys, but anyway, let's go up here and then follow me right now. We need to go ahead and go over to here. Right, let's try that again click on that button right now now you guys have clicked on that let's go over to here right now and i'll show you guys how to get another one so we then need to go to this um factory over here i'll show you guys what to do once you guys are on the factory go to the button that i accidentally pressed a little while ago um while we claimed up the permanent marker right now so let's go and go there right now once you guys we're nearly done which is awesome but Anyway, click on this right now. Now we click on that. Then follow me. We need to go ahead and go over to um over the outside. Also, guys, only click these ones. Don't click them more than once. Just click them once. Right, okay, yeah. This is what the red thing was for. Click on that one right over there. Okay, now we've clicked on that. How many is that? Is that four? We need to actually get seven in total. So moving on, once you guys have that one, follow me over here. What we need to go ahead and do is go inside of the permit and i'll show you guys how to get this one so go straight forwards i'm gonna be so happy when i can when i can actually take a breather and stop talking for a little bit guys because honestly he's talking for one hour straight it's really really hard but anyway let's click on that one right now guys there we go okay so now we've clicked on that follow me for the next one guys i think this one's the final button that we need to press which is ideal um and i think it's just over here in this building right over here so go here and then behind here you guys can click on that actually no never mind i think there's one more that we need to get and it's in the cave so let's go into the cave and then let's go up here and then just over here guys behind this click on that right now okay now we've clicked on that i'll show you guys what to do to get this one to go outside of the cave and then please say that this is a this has appeared uh let's check yeah there we go guys this will then appear this teleport thing then just over here guys you can get the mocha cornbread but what difficulty was that one i'm not too sure guys but yeah claim off that one right now guys now you have that one um let's you have to teleport to spawn by the way okay anyway follow me let's go over to here over to the factory again i'll show you guys what to do once you guys are in the factory so once you guys are here follow me and then jump down here yeah never mind this is the one that's really really hard it's honestly this bit it's pitch black guys it normally takes me a few tries normally what i'd recommend also to do is slow the video down in the settings to like 0 0.5 guys this is what i went ahead and done when i was seeing how other people got this marker guys i slowed down the video to 0 0.5 speed 
it just makes it a lot easier to go ahead and see guys especially if i'm going a bit too fast for you all i recommend just slowing it down a lot more than um a lot more than what it normally would be guys because yeah this one you need to be concentrating for this one guys but essentially just over here you can probably see this bit go into there right now okay so now you're here what you guys need to go ahead and do is right wait one second so i'm gonna go ahead and see exactly what i need to go ahead and do to get this one so what i need to go ahead and do over here oh no wait what's happened uh right let's, let's try this again i don't know what happened i accidentally like i think i accidentally walked on the light thing which is annoying but okay so there we go okay so now we are here follow me right now so go to the third one the third no no the second one sorry guys there's only two go the second one along now you guys have went over to here go around the corner and then go around here guys and then just over here you will see that make sure that is it right okay so now you've done that guys go ahead and go back out here and then go back down on the way you came now guys go left go go into here and now you are into here right now go straight forwards until you meet a wall and then guys you need to go ahead and go over to here go left um oh no i hate this so much i can't see a thing um right one second guys let's go am i even am i even walking here this is pain um right let's go right okay so that's a dead end right one second guys i want to quickly try and find a way out of, right okay so we are out here right now I'm, I'm gonna show you guys how to get this again because i failed that time um and honestly this is so annoying i hate this so much guys why does it need to be this dog ah it's, it's horrible but okay so now we have now essentially get to this place where i've just touched the button and i'll show you guys where to go so what you need to go then do is go straight forwards go straight forwards right now straight forwards and then you guys are gonna go ahead and meet a wall the right over here go right and then you're gonna go ahead and see like this pathway go down now you guys are over here to go right then go forwards that's so nice that there's a bit of light over here um and then left and then forwards and then oh no wait 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 wait, wait. and then one second guys so we made it to that bit over there um right okay so we made it to that bit over there right um okay so we've done that we made it out of there one second guys don't move um so we went over there right now and then right okay i think we need to go left over here now you guys have went left you then need to go forwards yeah go forwards and then just in here guys you can go ahead and get this marker the inverted marker that's horrible i hate that so much there you go guys claim up the inverted marker okay but essentially now you have the inverted marker follow me horrible i hate this so, so much guys okay so now we have that one you then need to go ahead and follow me right now okay but essentially what we then need to do is go um so go over here go back over here right now and then go over here down keep on going down then go right then go forwards then go right hey what's happening then go right then go forwards and then just in here guys you can go ahead and get another marker just over there guys claim it up that one right now nice and simple oh the void marker right claim up that one up over there hopefully that is it for this area i know that wait no wait wait wait. there's one more in this place i think i'll show you guys how to get a later one though because yeah right okay let's go ahead and now teleport back to one over here i'm so glad that we have eventually done that but follow me over here so all we need to go ahead and do to get this next one guys it is the transparent mark and then it is going to be a massive pain to go ahead and get but actually is it is this the right place I'm, yeah it's this place okay so what i recommend doing is actually go into your settings and turn on no camera mode classic still turn on click to move then wait actually yeah and then just spam click it's it's right it's right click to go ahead and do this guys just keep that in mind 
And now, wait, actually. Um, never mind. Um, right, no, but essentially, guys, let's now walk up this. And then, let's spam or click move over here. Yep, it's just gonna also go and go over there. And there you go, guys. You can go ahead and get this mark. I hate that one. I hate this marker so much, guys. Now we've done that, we can then disable disable click and move. And I'll show you guys how to get another one, the transparent marker. For this one, guys, we need to go ahead and go to the transparent box, which this is. And I'll show you guys how to get that one. So, um, let's do this right now. Um, so, go into this box right now. And then, all you guys need to do is just find the way in. You can do this by going left and right. Keep on going left and right. And keep on going forwards. There we go, guys. And you'll eventually make it into here. Also, sometimes you will need to jump as well. So, just keep that in mind. Um, right, you know what? No, there's... Right, okay. There we go, guys. We're in here right now. And there you go. That's how you can go in and get the transparent marker. Nice and simple. Now you have that one, follow me over here to get yet another marker right now. I'll show you guys how to get this one. So once you have that one, follow me over here to get another one. So what you guys need to go ahead and do is go over to here. And we need to get the paper marker. I mean, what, what rarity is this one? What difficulty? It is hard. It shouldn't be that bad then. Um, but essentially, just go over to here right now. Then over here, over here, and then just down here, guys, you can find this, like, doorway. Go inside of it, and there you go, guys. Paper marker. Simple. Now we've got that. Teleport box to spawn over here. I'll show you guys what to get. So, for the next one, guys, this one is just the marker with an upside down exclamation mark. This one, it's actually under the map. I'll show you guys what to do to get this one. I don't know how hard this one is, but, um, yeah, we should be able to kind of get it quite easily. Right, okay, so it's just over here. And then... Yeah, so just over there, and then all we need to do is walk off. So walk off, and then we just go straight forwards. I think we do. Yeah, just go straight forwards, guys. And then there you go. Get that marker over there. Nice and simple. Let's now teleport to spawn. I'll show you guys how to get even more. So for the next one, guys, this one is the sun button. No, 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 no. no. Um, no, it's not. Um, I've already shown you guys how to get this one. This next one is going to be the winning marker. And to actually get this one, one second, guys. So you need to go ahead and um, equip the, min the winning smile. I will leave this down below in the description. But go ahead and go winning smile, three, di three dots, and wear that. Now you guys are wearing that. Go back into the game. Don't need to leave the game. Set your character. Now you have reset your character. Follow me over here. So all we need to go ahead and do... Now our winning smile will be equipped. There we go, guys. Honestly, I don't really like that smile at all. I think it looks really, really weird. I'm not too sure why, but it's right. It would be nice if we could actually get um over there without jumping off um there. Right, okay. But anyway, guys, follow me. All we need to do is go over to here right now. And then go back here. And then, guys, just over here. You can get the winning marker right now because we have the winning mark up right now there we go guys just go ahead and go there right now okay anyway now we have that one i'm gonna show you guys how to get another one this one is the glitch marker and this one i don't know if it's that hard to get i think we need to do like some e but no 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 never mind i think i remember this one i think this one's one that recently got added if i'm not wrong i think it did recently get out recently get added i'm not too sure about that look, guys but essentially all we need to go ahead and do over here yeah i think it is there uh, have been but let's go oh great i really should just get um stop putting on run because honestly i think i feel like in some ways running actually makes it worse in my personal opinion i don't know why but for me it personally does right okay let's try this again now let's go up here um and then jump up here up here right now and then all we need to go ahead and do to get this one is just jump up there there we go there we go and then walk across here right now now you guys have done that i think now, I could be wrong here, but I think... You know, no, never mind. I remember what we need to do. It's just down here right now. Go into there. There we go, guys. So, teleport into there right now. And for this one... Right, yeah. For this one, just watch out. You need to go ahead and 
do this sort of stuff right up here. There we go. And then for this, just jump up here, up here, up there, and then there you go, guys. So now you're here. Then you can go ahead and get the glitch mark over there, guys. Nice and simple. Now you guys have that one. Follow me. Go to spawn. And I'll show you guys how to get even more. So all we need to go ahead and do for this one is just go into these stairs. Get that one over there, guys. The orange marker. Simple. Now we have that one. Follow me. Um, we need to then go <clears throat> over to um yeah, over to the shop. And I'll show you guys how to get this one in the shop. Go over to here right now. Then just over here. And just behind these boxes. You guys can find the tide marker claim up that one right now okay now we have that one um i'm gonna show you guys how to get the next one which is leaf marker this one's another easy one to get so all we need to do for this one is go to the trees and um jump on top of them to get the leaf marker so let's do that right now let's jump over here there we go and then jump up there up there onto there onto there onto there and there we go guys leaf marker simple guys Claim up that one over there. Okay, now we have the leaf marker. Um, follow me for some more. The next one, guys, I'll be showing you guys how to get today is going to be the hanging marker. This one, quite easy to go around and get. I'll show you guys how to get it. Go up to here right now. And then go upstairs. Just over here. You guys can get... Just over here, you guys can get the hanging marker. Claim up that one right now, guys. Okay, now we have that one. Follow me for another one. So, for this one, guys, go to this room, and then just in here, oh, well, what is this? I'm not too sure, but guys, there you go, magenta marker, simple. Now you have that one, um, you then will need to actually go to the microwave, um, and hold E, and, and, right, let me type in this code. So, the code is, um, pretty much, guys, what you need to go ahead and do, um, is... Right, one second. Um, what you need to go ahead and do over here is you can do this on mobile as well. Just go over to here right now, and then this code right now that you guys can see here, you need to go ahead and put this in as your code to the microwave, guys. If you guys don't see this, and if you are on mobile, just log into Roblox on your mobile browser, for example, like Safari or something like that. If you guys are like on iPad uh, on Apple device, guys, so yeah, just go ahead and copy that code right now, and then once you guys have that code. We then need to type it in. So mine was eight six um seven zero five nine three zero. Click and go. Success. There we go, guys. Simple. Right. Now we've done that. We can then go ahead and go over to here where you guys can get the noob marker. Nice and simple right now. We're nearly there right now. Okay, so anyway, for the next one, guys, we are needing to go ahead and go to a whole new game altogether. And I'll show you guys what to do in this game right now. Keep in mind, guys, it will be linked down below in the description. Here we are, guys, in Find the Cornbread. This game, of course, will be linked down below in the description. And follow me to go and get these ones, guys. Honestly, I don't know why, but this game's so laggy. But anyway, click on that button over there, guys. Wait. How do we click on it? Wait. There we go, guys. Click on it. There we go. We've clicked on that one. Um, and then let's try and jump over here. I hate this game. It's so so laggy. I don't know why. Why is this game so laggy? I don't know. Right. Okay. But anyway, we can actually jump out. This is this is horrible. I don't know what's happened to the. Was this game all 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 this laggy? I'm not too sure. But anyway, follow me right now. We are going to go ahead and. Um, get another button right now. So go to this house over here, the bakery, and then go into the bakery. That's dislikes horrible right now. Click on that. Now you guys have clicked on that. Then go to the school. Um, wait, actually, where else is it? Yeah, it's just over there. Then you need to go ahead and go over to here right now jump forwards keep on going um and then I, honestly i don't know how i don't know why it's like this laggy okay but anyway click on this red button over there guys again only click these ones if not they will not work but anyway once we have that right now follow me go 
over to here right over um here right now so go straight forwards um and then you need to go over to i think it's the top of the mountain or somewhere near the top let's jump up let's jump up let's jump up here and then we need to go and jump up this bit right now and then right okay uh let's go up here just behind here you guys can get this one click on that now you guys have clicked on that we're gonna go ahead and click on one final one um and i'll show you guys what to do once you guys have clicked on this one so go to the shop i think that's what it is yeah guys go to the shop and then once you're on the shop go behind here click on that it's now going to go ahead and say something has opened i wonder what it is i'll show you guys what has exactly opened well if we go over to here um and then go over here right now after that we need to go up this mountain area place let's do that over here there we go guys nice and simple yep let's jump up here up here and then we need actually just jump on this tree after that guys go at this log wait actually hmm. um one second right we are wait actually no is it this place i don't want to mess it up but i think it is yeah it is guys so go straight forwards into there and there you go guys you can go ahead and get the cornbread marker this one is actually going to go ahead and count for finding the markers guys and that's why we've actually went into this game so there you go guys the cornbread marker once you then go back into find the markers you'll have this marker added to your account which is where we're going to go to right now so guys follow me for this next marker we're going to want to go to um this area right now and then go straight forwards i'll show you guys what to do but actually um never mind we've already got the 90 degree marker what am i talking about um we need to go in and get the couch marker right now so okay so guys for the couch marker i'm not going to be able to show you guys this one in this video today but essentially you need to go in and get yourself and four other people to go in and sit on each of these um seats on the couch guys so go ahead and get four other people to sit on these you all need to sit on these at once once you've all sat on these at the same time you'll let me teleport to a whole new room where you guys can go ahead and get the corner the, no the couch marker guys so that's how you can go ahead and get that one okay anyway moving on follow me to go ahead and get another one right now um so for this one guys we are going to want to go ahead and go just over here and then go down this place right now and then just over here guys you can get this marker don't know what that one is called but claim that one up okay now we have that one right now um follow me for this next one so for this one we need to go ahead and go to the we need to go back to like the really dark room which is really annoying but let's go to this um this place right now and then go over here let's try this again let's go over here then let's go with the rocket after that we need to go ahead and go to the dark room which i absolutely hate um so let's go ahead and do this right now um so keep on going forwards right over here but now guys we are nearly there just a little bit longer um but now drop down here and then we have now teleported to this room let's go straight forwards over here though guys and you may want to slow down my my video again um just to make this easier okay so one second guys follow me go straight forwards over here and then turn right and then actually so then go down here after that guys go right here go straight forwards and then go left up left forwards then no um yeah keep on going forwards and then right down right up then right and then forwards then go over here and then down and then guys just over here you'll be able to go and get the dot 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 mark over there guys that one's a horrible to go and that that's a horrible one to get i absolutely hate this world i don't know why but i just do <laughs> it's not it's not really one of my most 
one of my most um, preferred places to go ahead and get markers in. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Right, okay, but anyway, now we have them ones, nice and simple. I'll show you guys how to get even more. So, follow me right now. Okay, so what we need to go ahead and do is get the, the battery marker. This one is located just behind um this. Wait, no, no, no. Sorry, guys, it's not this one, is it? Um, Is it this? Yeah, it's just over here, guys. Just behind here, guys. Claim with the battery marker over there. Anyway, now we have that. All you guys need to go ahead and do bit is go to this house right now. Spam the computer. Keep on spamming the computer, guys, until an error message occurs. Spam it, guys. Let's quickly spam it. There we go. Blue, blue screen's happened. Let's then go over to here. And then just over here, guys, you can go ahead and get the, the error marker. I think that's what that one's called, guys, which is awesome. And then follow me right now to go ahead and get the polka dot marker. Uh go over here and then you need to go ahead and hmm, where is it actually next guys uh one second i think it's yeah it's over here and then we run straight yeah never mind guys i know where it is let's go straight here and then this one is all about luck really guys all you need to go ahead and do is go into this green thing and essentially we need to get lucky enough to actually drop down is it going to be? No, it's not going to be first try, is it? We need to be lucky enough to drop down into the yellow section. And essentially, guys, once you drop down into the yellow section, you'll be able to go ahead and get the polka dot marker. This one is all about luck, guys. It's really about luck where you spawn or where you fall down. And I can't really control how long this is going to go ahead and take. I remember, like, it did take me at one point, like, 10 minutes. There we go, guys, though. Um, quite easy. Claim off that one over there. But yeah, guys, it can honestly take you quite a while if you are really, really unlucky. Um, so just keep that in mind yeah that's gonna allow us to teleport back to spawn right now and then for this next one guys this is the flamingo marker um follow me over here guys so um, once we have that one uh follow me i'm honestly so happy that this video is nearly done right now follow me over here and then what we need to do is go over here now you guys have done that jump right wait no yeah so jump straight down then you'll be teleported over here where you guys can get the flamingo marker that one's nice and easy to go in and claim up we go ahead and get the first mark over here guys follow me right now i recommend turning on sprint as well it's just going to make this whole process a lot easier guys also we did just hit 100,000 subscribers thank you all for the support on these find the marker videos guys whenever a new marker or whatsoever does come out in this game i'll always keep you guys up to date let me quickly turn on shift lock it will make stuff in this video a lot easier anyway guys the first one is over here the gingerbread marker claim up this one right now okay guys anyway moving on Follow me for the next market over here, guys. For the next one, what we need to go ahead and do over here is actually spam the TV screen, guys. Essentially, what will happen over here, eventually, static will appear on the TV. We need to go ahead and click the TV once the static occurs. I just recommend spamming the spam the tv screen guys because you don't really want to miss it and you can kind of see that it does change quite quickly um and there is a chance there you go guys we got it over there but there's a chance that you probably will miss it if you guys um wait to actually click it guys but anyway we got that one over there nice and simple the static marker and anyway, guys we have another one that is just going to be over here guys just down here you can probably see it claim up that one right now guys that would have got the chocolate marker it's just over there guys okay now you have the chocolate marker follow me i'll show you guys how to get another marker over here so what you guys need to do for the next marker this one is the marshmallow marker follow me right now guys jump up here jump up here up to here and then let's go on top of this archway a bit over here right now guys um after you are here over here right okay watch out just don't fall down there because that'll be Quite on you as you'll have to go back over there but yeah there you go guys claim up the marshmallow marker right now nice and simple right okay guys for the next one it's going to be the candy cane marker and to get this one guys just jump up here and then um just in there guys there was a candy cane that you can actually step on after you guys step on the candy cane then you'll be teleported to this room where you guys can get the candy cane marker make sure you do not click yeah make sure you guys don't jump on the red um on the red bits because then you'll actually die which is unfortunate so guys don't do that okay anyway we are here right now we can then just return back over here by jumping on this bit over here guys okay but anyway guys okay so we're here right now go up there next guys what you need to go ahead and do over here is go up here right now and we'll go ahead and get the salted caramel marker just up there guys claim that one up right now 
Anyway, now we have that one. The licorice market is just going to be over here. Claim up that one as well. Okay, guys, now we have that one. Um, I'll show you guys how to get another one, the triple scoop market. Also, guys, if you are wondering why these are not popping up on my screen, that is because I've already collected up all these markets, guys. I did make individual videos showing you guys how to get all the new markets as well. So if there's like one marker that um you need, it's on here um, on this channel showing you guys how to go and find that so you don't need to watch through the whole of these videos um just to find it the like few markers that you guys need okay but guys essentially next we need to then go ahead and go all the way actually no i think we need to then go um right okay guys so for this one we need to go ahead and go back up to the archway right now let's jump up here up here and let's do this again okay guys so we need to go go ahead and go up the arch bit right now and then guys just jump down into here after that go inside here right now and you'll find the triple scoop marker nice and simple okay guys now you have that one follow me right now i'll show you guys how to go ahead and get another one so guys for the next one guys this is going to be the lollipop marker this one's another simple one to go ahead and get although it is rated as hard um jump up here jump up here and in this lollipop right now jump on into it actually they've changed it a little bit right now guys it's just at the top they actually um right there no never mind okay so it's just in here that you jump in i i thought they changed it but no i don't think they have there you go guys a lollipop marker nice and simple okay guys anyway moving on for the next marker guys this one is gonna go ahead and be the greedy marker for this one you guys need to go and click on the donation button over here to the bottom right now click on this blue donation button after you've done that guys you'll see in the bottom left over here there is a marker it's quite it's quite small it's the greedy marker over here guys click on that one then the greedy marker will be given to you guys okay now you have the greedy marker follow me right now for the next one for the next one guys we need to go ahead and go into the shop then once we're on the shop climb up here and here you go guys there is the old marker claim up that one right now now you guys have the old marker you can then go ahead and get the next one by going into the gallery and i'll show you guys how to get the marker deleted so let's go over here and then guys just in here right now jump on this picture and then you are going to go ahead and get the marker deleted marker nice and simple that one okay guys anyway now you have that one follow me for the next marker over here this one is the burner marker and i'll show you guys how to get this one we need to go ahead and go into the cave right now then jump up here after you guys are on the cave click each individual part of this crystal your screen will go orange and you'll be teleported over here where you guys can get the burner marker another simple one to go ahead and get okay guys now you have the burner marker i'm going to show you guys how to get another one this one is the gummy marker this one to be fair it's not really that hard at all to go ahead and get but um it's it's got a few stuff that you need to go ahead and do in order to get this one first of all guys okay so what you need to go ahead and do you need to click four different colors across the map in the exact same order as me so i'll show you guys um these orders so guys keep in mind if you want to go ahead and know the orders of the colors it is displayed above the door over here so just above the door right there you can see the different orders so mine goes let me quickly get in here so mine goes blue yellow green red blue yellow green red guys okay so now i'm going to go ahead and collect up these in the exact same order as that door guys just remember to do it in the same order as the door if not it will not work um and i think the door orders are a bit different for everyone so it was blue yellow green red wasn't it okay guys i know the blue one is over here um here you go guys there's the blue one click on that once only once right now so blue yellow i think it, yeah it was definitely yellow i think the yellow one is just over here guys yeah claim up the yellow one right now there we go guys we claimed up that one that's the yellow one um then moving on for the green one you guys can probably see just in there however looks like we can we go down here yeah that, that, yeah we can guys okay let's get up the green one so blue yellow green red and then there's the green one and then the red one is just going to be the gingerbread house guys keep in mind the buttons will be in the same location but just the order of them will be different for you guys okay so the red one is in here click on that right now now you guys have clicked on these in the exact same order as the door i'll show you guys what to do so go over to here right now and then as you can see the doors opened then what you need to go in and do is actually just jump around here it may take a few tries guys especially when you like me and you're terrible at parkour but there we go guys we got that one right now okay now we have the gummy marker i'll be showing you guys how to get another marker this one is a tree sap marker and i tell you what guys this one's really hard to get. well um really hard i'm not too sure about really hard but it's definitely quite hard to go ahead and get so so go into the tree right now just walk straight forwards you guys then need to go in and just drop down into the tree over here there we go guys we've dropped down right now and all we need to do here 
let's complete the parkour in this bit right now guys okay so the main bit of the parkour right okay that's great but um like the parkour itself is actually put in stages guys how did i how did i touch like the uh, the yellow stuff there i don't right honestly i'm gonna quickly turn off sprint because that's gonna make stuff a lot easier i don't know why i use sprint um right okay i might be better for me just to pause the video and, right okay guys right let's try this again just with sprint on i don't know what's happened to me right now guys apologies about this but yeah um how did we how did we um touch the, the yellow right okay right i'll meet you guys back once i've done this right you know guys one final time i'll meet you all back finally finally okay we've made it over here we've now reached it to this to this checkpoint right now and then we need to go ahead and complete this bit right now guys yep as i did say earlier it is in um checkpoints this bit there's three checkpoints um and essentially you just need to go ahead and complete them um complete like all bits of this parkour so then jump in here avoid the yellow bits on the floor then guys you can climb up here right now we have not re yet reached the next checkpoint guys so this bit is where it gets annoying and i recommend turning off sprint for this one guys this one did take me a long time if i do remember correctly then over here then over there over there and then here we go i hated this bit guys but i remember i think we can actually get past it right now as long as we um as long as we oh wow that was close but yeah as long as we um make it slow how have i not managed to touch that yellow bit i don't know nor with that one oh wow i hate this i hate this guys and then over here okay wow right okay next we need to jump over there and then over to here and then over to here okay guys so we made it to this checkpoint right now guys i'm surprised i managed to do that pretty much first try um okay then next we need to do this bit of the parkour this bit is a lot easier than that one guys so it's not as stressful at all but um oh great why have i been put back here they must have updated it and made it that oh, that isn't checkpoint that's so annoying i'll meet you all back once i'm back there this is gonna take me forever i can already tell and that's so so annoying that i've just done that ah okay guys i'm back here right now i don't know right i think i've realized why i spawned back down there and i think it was because i touched the yellow bit of um the bit underneath that so i'm just gonna try and yeah okay so that's gonna spawn us back here i hate but why, why did that need to spawn me all the way back to the beginning that's so annoying right now guys because that took me an extra 10 minutes to get back up here i'm just gonna try and not fall down right now i'm gonna take it nice and slowly and then hopefully yeah if we jump across there there we go and then over here over here and then up this oh wow okay there we go guys jump over here and also guys just jump over this pit right now because that's just going to teleport you out and there you go guys that's how you can go ahead and get the tree sap marker i hate that one so much guys that's one of my least favorite markers to go ahead and get just because the parkour it's just so awkward to go ahead and do guys i'm gonna quickly get a screenshot of that for the thumbnail of today's video maybe um and there we go guys okay so now you guys have the tree sap marker we've got that one out of the way that one's horrible and i'm so happy that i've finished that one i'm gonna show you guys how to get another one the next one is gonna be the bendy scroll marker so follow me right now guys for this one we now need to go ahead and go to the waterfall behind here um and then i'll show you guys how to get this one to go in the waterfall and just behind here right now you guys are gonna go and find the bendy stroke marker claim up that one right now okay guys next we are gonna go ahead and travel to the washable kingdom and i'll show you guys how to go ahead and get the one in the washable kingdom right now there's two that have been added to the washable kingdom so go up these ladders then you'll be teleported over to the washable kingdom right now for the first one guys um it's just gonna be the mushroom marker and it's just gonna be down here jump off this right now there you go and then just underneath here you guys are gonna go in and get the mushroom marker nice and simple okay guys for the next bit what you guys need to do here is go to the settings bit and turn on hide players guys because for this one you need to have immense concentration this one is going to be the potion marker and it did take me definitely a lot of tries to get this and i'm not probably i'm probably not going to do this all um into this video i'm just going to explain how to do this and the ways that you can use to make this a lot easier guys essentially i'm just going to show you guys the demonstration here once you activate the potion it's then going to go ahead and um glow objects in the order that you need to then go ahead and collect them in so it went something like one two i honestly can't even remember the order but it was like this and um, but essentially guys all you need to go ahead and do is just collect the order um collect the objects in the order that they actually were um thinged in and if you do that right then it'll turn green 
It does this for five rounds, guys, and every round it shines five objects. You now need to go ahead and remember each, um, well, the order of each of these objects right now, guys. However, you may, you probably will have a lot of difficulty doing this if you guys are actually um, just memorizing it. I know I probably couldn't be able to, especially in the final rounds where it gets really, really fast. However, you can do um, it in a different way. You can actually record a video of, um, you can actually record a video on your phone um, or some other device. Um, yeah, you can record like a, a video on your phone or some other device right now, guys, and then you can play it back and then get these. As you guys can see, I'm red over there, so I need to do it all again. So you do this for five rounds. So you can either A, memorize it in your head but you'll have to concentrate a lot for this i know it's probably going to be quite hard you can either to record a video of your screen and then play it back um and collect them in the correct order that's what i did and i found that i found that that one is the easiest one guys i recommend for that one as well just before you are about to claim the last object for each round you start recording again guys because it literally starts shining straight away and if you like stop recording then you may actually miss it guys so yeah i recommend just start recording just before you are about to go ahead and complete the previous round and start the next round guys so that's what i recommend for that one but also you if you also if you guys can't really record your screen you can get like a piece of paper and i recommend like making a little diagram of this layout over here and just for each order you put in put like a number against each object and then you guys can go ahead and see um well recollect them in that correct order guys so that's how i recommend to go ahead and get them ones of there guys honestly yeah they're quite hard the, like the potion market itself it's not really that hard to get it's just that you need to concentrate a lot for it and it may take you guys a couple of goes okay guys anyway let's return back to the find the markers game right now and i'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and get another marker over here so we now need to go ahead and go to the factory right now and i'll show you guys what to do once you guys are in the factory so we we'll just go into the factory over here and i'll show you guys what to do right now Okay, so first things first, we need to go ahead and go over to this microscope right now, guys. Look in the microscope. After you guys have looked in the microscope, this is going to activate some atomic particle, atomic um, markers to spawn around the factory, guys. They'll spawn in roughly the same place as me, guys. I think they spawn randomly, um, but they have the same spawn locations, guys. But essentially, what you need to go ahead and do is just look for these, um, these many atomic markers around the factory they will only be in the factory guys there'll be nowhere else and just study them all under the microscope you will eventually come across the right one that will show up the atomic marker in this microscope then you guys will be teleported to the room that has the atomic marker in it guys so yeah that's how you can go ahead and get that one i'm just going to demonstrate me doing it right now also i recommend click on this key that's going to open up a room that we will probably need to go ahead and find some uh, more of these um, markers over here guys okay let's try and find some more right now um okay i see one over there let's quickly do this parkour hopefully i don't die right now guys because i think if you die then it actually restarts so there we go guys we got that one right now and let's study this one under the microscope as well there we go guys um that is not the thing that we are looking for i'm not too sure how many times you guys need to do this and i'm not too sure if it's completely random um about the times that you guys need to do this i think it probably took me about six or seven tries um before i actually went ahead and got the atomic marker guys um wait oh no that, that that just trolled us guys that's not the atomic marker that's atomic pen that's such a troll um but yeah guys also there will only be one like atomic marker that spawns in the map at a time um so yeah you can only really find one at a time guys um so if you are struggling to find one then that might be a little bit of a problem okay so i can't see any more in there i see the next one it's all the way down there at the back of this and i better not i better not die here because if i die then i will probably have to start all the way again so there we go guys claim up that one right now and let's complete this hopefully hopefully without dying there we go guys at least that bit isn't that hard i, I really hate it why they have to why do they need to spawn there guys there we go guys the atomic marker has been shown and all we need to do now is simply go in here and there you go guys atomic marker nice and simple i'm gonna get another screenshot for that because i may actually use that one as a thumbnail image as well there you go guys that's how you can go ahead and get the atomic marker nice and simple right over here okay guys anyway moving on for the next markers i'll show you guys what to do over here so essentially guys what we need to do in order to get these next ones is first of all follow me right now we need, now need to go ahead and go to mars um so let's jump down here 
let's go into the rocket and let's teleport to mars okay guys the first one i'll be showing you guys how to get today well not the first one but the next one is going to be the nebula marker for this one we need to go ahead and run all the way over to this this like massive mountain well it's not really a mountain to be fair it's a massive like mound of rock um we need to go ahead and go up here guys and just complete the bit of parkour that this has over here honestly it's I was going to say it's not that hard, but then I just go ahead and fail. And let's make it up to the top over here where you'll be teleported to go ahead and get the nebula marker. A simple one over there, guys. Okay, anyway, once you've done that, follow me for another one. Let's run all the way over to, um, over to here right now where this like science facility is. And we actually need to go ahead and go under the stairs. You can do this by shift locking and then jumping down the stairs right now. Now you guys are here, you need to go ahead and avoid the lasers. Um, I recommend to do this, just jump and keep it on the left guys and the, oh no um yeah i recommend just jumping and then staying on the left and then you'll probably eventually make it there i'm actually gonna turn off sprint i think that'll make it a little bit easier right okay wait let me quickly okay so there's one over there right um i wish i could like shift lock onto the other side i don't know if that's possible you know guys right okay let's do it like this and then over there and over there there we go guys we can now go ahead and get this marker over here guys that is the plasma marker nice and simple that one okay guys and a bit now we have the plasma marker let's um right is there any way that we can get back no we can't um right okay guys let's go back to the mars area um and i'll show you guys what to do once you guys are back there so for the next one guys it's actually going to be the dark hole marker and for this one you're going to have to concentrate quite a bit as well there's a few there's a few tips that i can actually give you guys for this one um and also well okay so we are here right now first of all we need to go ahead and step on this orange thing over here just right now guys okay now you've stepped on that that's going to tell up and um, turn on the lights in this room over here next guys if you have not already turned on your roblox sound turn on your roblox volume we need this okay guys next we need to go ahead oops um it'd be nice if i could go back in there Game. there we go guys okay next essentially what we need to go ahead and do over here is go all the way over here around right now and over here there is the dark matter marker how can you get that one well you actually to get this one it needs to be in pitch black guys and that is why i recommend turning on sound because you can actually kind of hear roughly where that one is essentially guys what i recommend doing is actually counting that will make it a lot easier to know where exactly you are, especially in the pitch black. So I recommend using this counter method. I'm just going to go like this. One marker, two marker, three marker, four marker. After four markers, I'm going to turn left. And then I'm going to go one marker, two marker, three marker, four marker, five marker, six marker, seven marker, eight marker. I'm going to turn right, nine marker. And then tenth one is just going to be in there, guys. Okay, so we have that right now let's go ahead and try this out so we are now going to go ahead and run out here and then we are going to go ahead and go over here and click on the blue switch this is going to turn off the power okay so let's go ahead and go here right now and let's do our thing right here so one marker two marker three marker four marker we are here right now we're going to turn left one marker two marker three marker four marker five marker six marker seven marker eight marker then we're going to turn right one marker and then we're going to turn right again one marker and then it's just going to be in here somewhere guys i can hear it you just need to walk around the sound a little bit uh right okay guys um it's just left here wait i can hear it it's is it forwards um right okay guys one second let me quickly see here i got a first time in my video where i showed you guys how to get this but i mean wait i can hear it the problem is i can't get it i think i'm in the room where it is right okay i'm gonna make it out of here right now i'm gonna try this again okay so one marker two marker three marker four marker five marker six marker seven marker eight marker turn right one marker turn right again one marker wait it's just to the left and then 
actually i know what's happening guys i'm actually getting it but because i've already cleaned up the marker then it doesn't show up on the screen okay guys that's the reason why i thought it sounded really really close guys but essentially as soon as you get that marker it'll pop up on the screen saying you guys went ahead and got the dark matter marker guys i'm um, sorry the black hole marker apologies about that guys i didn't need to do that again i already got it but um yeah because i was wondering why is that sounding so loud and then i realized that it doesn't actually show up again that i've already claimed up the marker um, it doesn't show up again that I've claimed up the marker because I already have claimed it, guys. But yeah, I would have got that one over there if I had not already claimed that one. It would have shown up a screen up on screen. But next, guys, we are going to go ahead and get the final marker that has been added in this update. That is going to be the Zen marker over here. Follow me to go ahead and find this one. For this one, guys, we need to go ahead and run all the way over to the well. I'll show you guys what we need to do in the well. Um, Well, not really in the well, but I'll show you guys what you need to do next after you guys have went to the well. Um, to go ahead and get this Zen marker, guys. This Zen marker is rated as, um, it's th the hardest difficulty right here, guys. It's rated as extreme, but honestly, it's a lot easier than the, um, than the other marker, the tree sap marker. So claim up this first hint over here. After you guys have went ahead and claimed up the first hint, I'll show you guys where you need to go ahead and go in order to get the second hint. For the second hint, guys, we need to go ahead and go into the factory. You must claim up these hints in the exact same order as me. If not, guys, it will not work. And also, I recommend trying not to die. I mean, actually, no, I um, wait, if you die, I'm not too sure what happens. I don't, I haven't died yet with these hints on. But there we go, guys. Collect up the next hint over here. For the third hint right now, we need to go ahead and go to the desert over here. And then go all the way over to where this statue is right now, guys. Let's jump up the statue and claim up that hint. After we have claimed up that hint right over here, I'm going to show you guys what to do to get this next one. After that, guys, we need to run behind here. And we need to go... To where like the massive marker is i'm not too sure what exactly that marker is called but all i know is that is that's pretty huge so we need to go ahead and jump off here right now right okay one second off there right now on here on here just down here and there you go guys there's another hint behind there claim up that hint right now now we have that hint guys we then need to go ahead and go up to the lightning place and um, up in the sky right now so let's go ahead and do that let's jump up here jump up here and then let's go ahead and do this bit oh didn't mean to do that guys let's try this again uh, am i just gonna fail this yeah am i really just gonna fail this like right okay finally guys we're making some progress over here okay next we need to go ahead and just go over here um and do this bit right now and let's go just down here right now okay let's try not to fail this let's try not to fail this okay i can just walk straight back down over there there we go and then i'm gonna walk forwards after that guys i'm gonna go ahead and do this go down a little bit i'm gonna claim up that hint after i have that hint that's the fifth and final hint i then need to go ahead and go to this house right now after i've went to this house over here we need to simply claim up this like chocolate coin um up in the kitchen area and then we need to go ahead and deliver it back to the the fountain so let's claim up this chocolate coin guys try not to die with the chocolate coin on because yeah you might lose it and that wouldn't be very good would it guys so yeah don't die with the chocolate coin on just whatever you do do not walk on the chocolate river the chocolate river um you, well you fall through it guys and then well yeah if you fall through it then that's you gone that is you gonna be probably not enjoying yourself having to claim up all this stuff again but anyway guys let's go ahead and return back to the the fountain and uh, let's go ahead and deliver this coin and then guys we'll be able to go and get the zen marker over here there we go guys deliver the coin and there it is guys the zen marker and so guys after you have all the markers for the final one all you guys need to go and do over here is open up your roblox chat and type in a skull emoji guys i'll try and remember to pin a comment with the skull emoji in and um, if i do forget that guys make sure one of you comment down below the skull emoji so everyone can just copy and paste it in there but enter that in guys and on screen from that you will then go ahead and get uh, to try and find it um you'll then go ahead and get the four goku marker um it's it doesn't really teleport you anywhere guys it just gives you it automatically for typing in the skill emoji therefore it just doesn't show up on my screen that i've claimed up because i've already claimed it guys so guys the first marker that we'll be getting today is going to be the sandstorm one to go ahead and get this one guys it's actually so simple all you need to do over here is come all the way over to the pyramid right now once you guys are at the pyramid jump up and then just go ahead and jump up here and if you guys walk up here right now, you're going to go ahead and get Sandstorm Marker. Claim this one up right now, guys. There you go. That's how you can go ahead and get the Sandstorm one. For the Flan one, guys, follow me right now. 
So for this one, we need to go near Candyland, not specifically in Candyland. We just need to go ahead and go over here on the outside. Now we are here right now, guys. Just follow me. What we need to go in and do is just go right up against the wall right now. And then just keep on walking forwards while um, going left. And then eventually you guys will go ahead and make it to this section right now. And all we need to do here is just complete a little bit of parkour right now. Honestly, I don't really think this parkour is that hard. I say this now and watch me absolutely fail this. But yeah, here you go, guys. That's how you can go in and get the fly marker. Now. Okay, guys, for the first marker, it's actually just down here. This one is going to be the ecosystem marker. For this one, we need to go ahead and talk to this person right now. Um, and essentially, guys, we need to go ahead and click on sure. After that, what we need to go ahead and do is collect these fishes, guys. So the red one, this fish... Um, right, sometimes, I don't know why, but for me, that red fish, it took me a few clicks when I first done it, guys. If it doesn't, um, like collect after a few clicks guys just keep on clicking it it will, it will eventually anyway guys we've got a blue one over here and a pink one over here there we go after that guys we've got an orange one over here claim up that one over there and then for the final one guys the yellow one claim up this one right now after that we have a green one over here actually there there it is guys there's the final one and then all we need to go ahead and do is just speak to this person again it's marker right now and then we can go in and collect them now and so just run into that mark over there and you'll be able to go in and collect it however i've already done that so i can't um okay for the next one guys this one's going to be the feta cheese marker follow me over here guys i'm going to quickly show you how you can go ahead and get it we're going to go ahead and go just in here take a right turn but guys keep on walking forwards so you'll eventually walk into this room right now where you can go ahead and get the feta cheese marker nice and simple okay guys and now you have that one we're going to go ahead and get a bit more of a difficult one over here this marker is going to go ahead and be the bubble bubble bath marker i'm going to show you guys how you can go ahead and get this one right now okay so what we need to go ahead and do is actually go ahead and come all the way over to this area right now guys and we want to go ahead and go into this house right now okay so now we are in this house so you're going to want to go ahead and go upstairs and then just on here you guys are going to go ahead and get the wrench take the wrench right now okay now you have the wrench let's go ahead and go over here and follow me guys we're going to go ahead and go to the factory over here um right now so let's quickly run all the way over here um, all the way over here right now guys right and then what we are gonna go ahead and do is just simply jump up here guys a little bit and then we're gonna go ahead and jump down here onto the bottom of the factory right now okay now we have the wrench we can actually open up this cabinet over here open it up and click on this guys it's gonna go ahead and turn on the power next guys teleport spawn and we're gonna want to go ahead and make our way towards the um the waterfall over here in this area of the map guys so let's quickly do this right now after we have done this um hopefully i don't fall off here because sometimes i do and yeah there, there we go guys after we've done this our pump will have this orange glowing color click on that guys until it eventually does turn green then we need to go ahead and repair this bit spring out water we need to go ahead and repair that okay now we've repaired that guys what we are going to go ahead and do next is come back to spawn over here and now guys we need to go ahead and repair this one over here so repair that one there we go now we've repaired that bit over here follow me guys for the next place we need to go ahead and repair up it's gonna be um down here go ahead and go down here into the sewers place right now and then just over here we can go ahead and repair this area right now guys repair that after that teleport to spawn over here and then um what we're gonna go ahead and do over here is repair these last two pipes over here guys and then if we repair these you guys can probably see in the top left window of this house right now we have the bubble bath marker so let's quickly yeah here it is guys there is the bubble bath marker for you all nice and simple that one okay so not what we are going to go ahead and do next is get another one guys um so we're making some good progress over here. We're going to go ahead and get the spider marker this time. This one's another simple one. Let's go into the cave. Now, guys, once you're on the cave, go left over here into this room right now. Then, guys, go down here. Um, Yeah, down here. And then you'll be teleported down here, guys. You need to just watch out. Try not to fall off here. But go ahead and do that. And then you guys can just jump on it. And there you go. That's how you can go ahead and get the spider marker right now guys okay for the next one this one's going to be the ceramic marker what we're going to go ahead and do over here is talk to this yellow person over here let's talk to that person we're going to go ahead and say i've met one of your ancestors after that guys we're going to go ahead and say primrose marker now that we said that we're going to go ahead and say her it's now going to go ahead and teleport us to a room and pretty much um this is a map of the different orbs that we need to collect in order but we'll leave that 
for later on in the video. So we have this mock over here, guys. The ceramic one. It's gonna go ahead and break. What we need to go ahead and do is collect all the pieces of this mock. So there was one over there. There's one on the stairs. There's one down here. Um, there is one over here, guys. Get that bit. Get that bit too. There's also one um up at the top there. So let's get this bit. Let's also get this bit. Let's get this bit. There we go. Let's get this bit too, guys. Wait. Let's get try and get this bit at the top. Did we manage to get that, guys? Right, okay. Um, yes. There, there we go. We managed to get that bit over there. After that, we're gonna go ahead and get another bit. It's just behind here. Then another bit over here. Another bit over here. Another bit over here. And finally, guys, if we can possibly get over here, which would be nice. Right, there we go, guys. We can go ahead and get this piece this piece and that is going to be all the pieces collected for the ceramic marker um for you guys to go and get so collect up the ceramic marker right now okay so that is all of them now that we need for the main area right now we're gonna go ahead and teleport to the washable kingdom next um and i'm gonna show you guys what to do there so let's go over here to the washable kingdom right now and there's gonna be a bunch to claim up over here so let's do this right now okay so now we are here in the washable kingdom what you guys are gonna go ahead and do first we're gonna collect up the cobblestone marker before we actually do anything guys sorry about that um right okay so let's go ahead and um go over here and just behind this, guys, we're going to go ahead and get the cobblestone marker um, just over here. So it's just behind here, guys. Walk across here. And then you'll eventually be able to go ahead and go inside. Here you go, guys. There it is. There's a cobblestone marker. Okay, next, we want to go ahead and open up the portal to the foliage place. And to go ahead and do this, guys, follow me. So you need to go ahead and put these orbs and um, activate these orbs in the same order as me. So the first orb, guys, just going to be behind here, down there in the swamp. That's the first one. It's the orange one. Activate that one first. Then for the next one, we, you're going to want to go ahead and activate this purple one over here, guys, at spawn. For the third one, you're going to want to go ahead and activate this yellow one here at the shop place. For the fourth one, what you need to go ahead and do is activate this marker over here in the bioluminescent area. Just over there, guys. Activate. Um, sorry, guys. Activate that orb, not marker. Now we've activated that one. You can probably see here in the top left of the castle right now. Um, there is this um orb that you need to activate. It'll turn white. Then, guys, activate this orb over here. It will turn red. And for the final one, guys, we want to go ahead and go down to the dragon's lair. And we're going to go ahead and activate that orb as well. Um, so let's quickly do this right now, guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's drop down here. Um, drop down here, and then go ahead and activate that orb over there. And then, guys, this door will now open. Now I've done this, all we need to go ahead and do is um, complete this, guys. So I'm going to quickly show you what we need to go ahead and do in order to complete it. So what we're going to go ahead and do is come all the way over here, guys. Um, and we're first going to go ahead and get this sunlight marker. So let's quickly do this right now. Let's do this bit of parkour over here. Let's activate this. By, by, by the way, guys, if you do not notice, I'm clicking on the mushrooms to make this bit of parkour actually appear. Um, anyway, okay, so we've done this bit right now. Next, what we are going to want to go ahead and do is just jump onto this tree right now. And then after that, we're going to want to go ahead and jump down to there. Climb on that, guys, and then go ahead and go over here. After that, we want to go ahead and grab onto that ladder. It may take you guys a few, a few tries. It definitely did for me. Um... But yeah, we'll try it again. Hopefully we can go ahead and do this. There we go, guys. So climb up this. And then just in here, you're going to be able to go and get the sunlight marker, which is awesome. Nice and simple. That one. Claim that one up. Okay, it looks like... Yeah, never mind. We can't make it back over here. Right. Um, What we're going to go ahead and do right now, we are going to go ahead and get the mimic one. So follow me over here. Exit out of this place right now. Um, you know what, might as well just jump down here just to make it quicker. Um, and then follow me over here, guys. So what we need to go ahead and do is do this. So go up here um, right now. There we go. There we go. And there we go. And then, guys, just follow along. Great. Okay. Um, let's try this again. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this over here and follow along with I am terrible at Roblox. One second, guys. I probably shouldn't have my sprint on for this, to be honest. Right, let's just turn my sprint off. Let's not be too overconfident about this. Right. Turn that sprint off. There we go. And then there we go, guys. Okay, so after that, we're going to go ahead and make it towards this tunnel over here. Um, and I'm going to quickly show you guys what we need to go ahead and do in order to complete this one. So, guys, for this bit right now, you're going to want to go ahead and um, put these 
um, open up these chests in the same order as me. So guys, the first chest is just over here. Open up that chest right now. For the next chest right now, guys, what you guys are going to want to go ahead and do here is actually open up um, this chest right now, guys. This one over here, then this one. After that, you're going to want to go ahead and open up this one, then this one, and then this one, guys. We can now jump down here. Um, and then if you guys look behind, you'll find the mimic marker over there, guys. So go ahead and get that one right now. Um, is there any other way that we can quickly get back up here? Yeah, here it is, guys. So we've managed to go ahead and get back over here. Okay, so now this is going to be the hardest marker that you probably are going to go ahead and get. I think this one has actually been upgraded to Markerus 2. I think people are voting to put this one to Markerus, guys. But essentially, once you guys come in here, you're going to want to go ahead and plant a seed. After you guys have done this, guys, what we're going to go ahead and do over here is complete um some parkour over here guys so each of the three area for each of the three areas we need to go ahead and get some water so let's go ahead and do this right now guys so yeah you are timed on this so just watch out try not to be um try not to take too long right how am i dying on this how how am i dying on that i would like the game to tell me how i'm dying on that i don't know how i am but yeah jump across here and then go underneath there over here guys after that we're going to go ahead and get this water over here so take the water after you guys have taken the water we're going to want to go ahead and make our way back the same way that we came in so jump over here over here try this again jump over here under there and over there and then okay please game let me complete this i don't want to be stuck here forever and just waste my time okay there we go and then over here and then over there okay so now i've done that guys what we're gonna go ahead and do is go back to the seed over here and then um take put the water in that seed now guys we want to go ahead and get some water from this island over here so these um lily pads are going to go ahead and bounce you up so that's what you guys need to do bounce on these lily pads and then bounce on this lily pad over here then onto this one then onto this one right that is just stupid it didn't even bounce me that one okay that's just fully destroyed my progress over there let's try this again right let's do this and then this and then please this time bounce me there we finally go bounce me and then over here bounce me there we go okay so now guys we're gonna go ahead and get this water over here and we need to make our way back so let's go ahead and do this right now over here over here and then oh great right over here over here over here and then over here are you kidding me right i'm feeling this guys this is probably it's either this one or the, like the the vines one that's the hardest one right oh, that's so annoying how you like the cracks in the lily pads do kill you if you guys land on them so let's do this over here do that over there do that over there jump again okay so right we made it past the hard bit at least let's do this do this do this and then just jump over there okay we got that bit right now okay now that's good next what we're gonna go ahead and do plant the water and then we're gonna want to go ahead and complete the bit in the bioluminescent area this one guys right i don't know the exact um thing for it but if you just copy what i do you'll eventually get it so let's go ahead and put down that mushrooms again here we go just complete this and then do that over there wait there we go let's activate that mushrooms after that guys we are gonna go ahead and come to this area over here so essentially guys we need to go and find the right order i think it is this one then this one no it's not um if it doesn't work then just go ahead and tap it. yeah never mind guys that one actually is it so yeah go ahead and do that right now take the water and then um what we're gonna go ahead and do over here is just go back so let's do this activate that do this and then over here and let's activate that mushroom over there guys there we go let's complete this parkour right now guys nice and simple and then all we need to do there um then sorry is feed this water to the plant once again here we go let's just feed it to the plant right now and now guys we can simply climb up the plant wait and then never mind right i thought, I thought we needed to uh, um, like get some more but never mind we don't um here you go guys there's a foliage marker okay guys so go ahead and get the first marker we'll start off with the atmosphere marker we are going to want to go ahead and come to this house right now jump up here jump up the chimney if we can possibly do that and then guys we want to go ahead and go on these blocks over here to teleport up to the cloud okay guys now we are here on the cloud we are going to want to go ahead and jump onto this one and then down to here and then down to here guys where you can see a white brick um, well, what I thought after that, this is going to go ahead and spawn in this bit of park over here, which is going to lead us to the balloon. So let's quickly jump over here right now. And then we are simply going to take a balloon. After that, guys, you want to go ahead and avoid getting touched by the circle barrier. And if it does 
actually touch us it will despawn our balloon and we will fall right down to the the, the map below us which will not be very very fun at all and well okay then that is great isn't it okay that is just brilliant right now um also don't touch the clouds because i as you can probably see that it has done the same thing so let's try this again guys for the second time can't believe i managed to do this kind of first try Wait, I can't even get up here now. How have I managed to become this bad in just such a short period of time? Okay, finally. Right, let's try this again, guys. Second time lucky. Yeah, honestly, I don't know how I've managed to do this first try on my um, on my first go. I, I, I didn't see much bother with it for the first time, but watch this take me so long once I'm recording this um, video over here. Okay, guys. Anyway, let's just avoid the clouds uh, at all costs. Do not run into the clouds. Yep. Okay go between them there we go and then eventually it's going to go ahead and bring us towards um the atmosphere marker just over here guys as you guys can see here's the atmosphere marker and essentially what we are um once, what we are going to want to go ahead and do is just jump down here and there you go guys that's the way you can go ahead and get the atmosphere marker which is quite cool okay next what i'm going to go ahead and do over here is just jump down here and then follow me right now okay so we are going to go ahead and come to this uh, um this mountain place right now and we want to go ahead and make our way to the difficulty um that i mentioned so let's quickly go into this room and then type in the word difficulty so d i f f i c u l t y enter that in over there guys and then we are now going to be teleported to the difficulty chart obby place and now to go ahead and get this marker follow me over here guys so we are going to go ahead and come up here towards the orange section right now um and then once we are here at the orange section we are simply going to want to go ahead and jump right, don't do that guys this honestly this kill brick marker i think it's a lot harder than um than this other marker over here the atmosphere marker in my personal opinion guys i keep on feeling feeling at this one and it's really really annoying but anyway okay let's try this for a second time now please Right, what is happening over here? I'll meet you all back once I'm finally eventually in that room over there. You know what, guys? We'll try one more time on video. Third time lucky. Hopefully, we'll make it here. But essentially, guys, you'll find it um, in that room. We just need to jump around the corner and then um, just hopefully hope for the best and jump onto a ledge. So let's quickly... Yeah, right, one minute. I'll meet you all back once I've done this because this is so frustrating. Right, 10, 10 attempts later, I'm finally here. And then we're going to want to go ahead and jump around here. After that, guys, we are simply going to want to go ahead and jump over that. And that's how you guys can go ahead and get the Kilbrook marker. Man. Okay, guys, to go ahead and get these two new markers, follow me right now. We want to go ahead and travel to the difficulty dimension over here. So let's jump over here right now. Um, and let's go there. So let's just quickly jump up here, up to this section right now. Here we go. And now that we are here what we are going to go ahead and do is just go in here and then guys simply type in difficulty so d i f f i c u l t y enter that in over there guys now we'll be teleported to the new area and all we need to do is just simply walk backwards next we'll be teleported over to here this like monument place and just over here guys we are able to get one of these markers right now so claim up that one over there there we go nice and simple i've already claimed up that one anyway for the next one over here we want to go ahead and make it to the maze area it's just over there guys this may take me um a few goes because of course i'm not really the best at parkour but you know what guys we'll have a good we'll have a good shot at it and hopefully we can um get that first try you never know guys we could be lucky enough to do that first try into this video um but yeah i'm warning you right guys right now the difficulty one is a little bit harder at the moment i think they may reduce the difficulty the difficulty of the um the danger marker right now however um if i was able to do that do it then guys I'm guessing a lot of you will be able to because I am terrible at Roblox Parkour. So if I can do it, then a lot of you guys probably can. Let's anyway go across here right now, guys, and go all the way over to this like black maze area. So let's quickly do this first. So we want to go ahead and do this. Unshift lock, turn around, jump over there, shift lock again. Unshift lock, turn around, jump over, then shift lock again. Here we go, guys, and just repeat this process to go ahead and jump across. And then for the final one right over here, guys, we don't even need a shift lock again. But yeah, let's quickly just jump over here right now and then we want to go ahead and jump across this bit this is one big wall jump over here but we managed to do it and then guys we want to go ahead and jump into the maze right now so here we are in the maze we want to go ahead and go along the left hand wall over here by doing this you guys will make it to the area where we can go down a floor right now so as you guys can see just for you here we want to go ahead and go down the floor um and now that we are down the floor guys we want to go ahead and go through here 
continue um, going along the left hand wall and you will eventually find this yellow beam over here it's going to allow us to teleport all the way over to the difficulty place next let's activate this right now and pretty much what's going to happen we're going to be able to um teleport to the difficulty um dimension over here pretty much and in this dimension we do also have a wall that is chasing us just keep in mind guys you are kind of racing against the clock over here because if you do get touched by the wall you'll be sent back to the start which is unfortunate not the complete start of the um the difficulty world but you will be sent back to the start of this as you guys can see there's a wall over here let's quickly try this right now guys we want to be as quick as possible over here so we are not gonna die um let's yeah so after that guys go across here and then up here right now here we go then down here keep on going across after that guys we are going to go ahead and travel over here over here then over here right now guys then up here and then we want to go ahead and go up here right now am i going to be able to do it yes i am which is great there we go guys this is really really stressful over here i hate this so much we do not want to fall off at any point in time because that would be horrible if we did right over here over here then over here then over here right okay guys next we want to just jump over there then over here then jump up here slightly back there wow i think i nearly fell i think i nearly fell off over there and here you go guys that's how you guys can go in and get the difficulty the, no sorry the danger marker i keep on saying difficulty but yeah guys that's how you can go in and get the danger marker i hope you all did enjoy this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe to show some support and peace out